back to my channel I do hope you're doing well look at the state of me and listen to my voice we have just woke up we have just woke up and today's good Friday four day weekend Woo! but it's been ruined by mother nature I had all these plans of being super productive no she doesn't want me to do that so um that's slightly annoying but also guys a week today so from good friday a week today is when i go to my concert oh my god i'm so excited i don't actually know what to wear i mean in doves i had like little chunky boots and that i think maybe flat boots or even like trainers i don't know i need to try and sort out my vibe for the concert next week but it's going to be a long way, you know it is, guys. Hopefully, oh, I do apologise. Hopefully, my system allows me to upload it as one big Easter vlog and not like the palaver last year when I had to upload it into, like, basically three or four vlogs, I think it was. So, yeah, we're hopefully not going to have that. God, look at the state of me. Look at the absolute state of me. You can't say that I don't keep it real on this channel, can you? <laughs> what are the plans for Easter? So, today I need to go and sort out this hard drive. I'll be glad when this women hard drive is done. Um, I need to take that back this morning, pop into town. I thought that I had my um, vaccination check today for traveling to Jamaica. It's not, it's tomorrow. So that's kind of throwing a spanner in the works. But I think what I'm going to do, exchange the hard drive today and then pop into the next town. I do need to go to a Primark because today I've got to film a Primark haul, which ugh, I hate filming Primark hauls when it's Mother Nature because I just feel so bloated and like a wow. But hey ho, hopefully I'll just get loads of oversized stuff. And then I might pop into m and while I'm out see if there's any bits and bobs about and then oh i need to pop into waterstones i've actually got to go through and see what i've got in mum's good friday box because we'll be doing our easter boxes today i don't know whether we'll do them in the afternoon or tonight because of course we've got matching pajamas good old uh m s come through with the matching pjs half price so we'll see how they go I will also be putting up my boogie bounce again, if you remember from any of the previous vlogs. I actually got a boogie bounce, but I had to take it down or like dismantle it in a way because we were sorting the oven and everything out. Tomorrow, I've got boxer size, still sticking with it, and that will be my walk. And then, obviously, I've got to go into town tomorrow for my vaccination checkup. Might have a little look around town tomorrow come back i only want to film a video a day i had this whole thing where right i'm going to like bulk load loads of filming but i don't want to when it's mother nature i just really don't want to guys it's just like meh. i will have a day i'm thinking maybe sunday because it will be easter sunday the day of rest i might still get out for a little walk but sunday i really want to get into a new box set and i what I keep seeing, and I thought it was a film at start, but I want to watch the um, Night Agent. So I think I might start that Sunday. Again, one video a day filming. And then Monday, Monday I'm going to be productive in terms of, I think I've got another class. I don't know if it's pump or circuits or boxer size. I know I've booked something for Monday morning. Um, catch up on all my final receipts because obviously tax year is over now so I need to get all of that done and dusted so that the only thing I need to send is my P60 whenever I get that probably in my way ship at the end of the month but yeah of course Easter Sunday there's going to be a big load of food I mean of course we've got to get all the food oh that would be a thing tomorrow I could actually cook my let's cook video Sunday I might even do my baking video oh 
Okay, so there's going to be loads of food. We've got a huge leg of lamb for Sunday. Oh, my God. I'm just... I'm so excited. Mum wanted to do the Sunday dinner for Saturday because, obviously, that lamb is going to last so long. And I was like, mm, no, I like it for Easter Sunday, please. So, yeah, you'll see Mama G along the vlog as well. She'll be popping up here and there. But, oh, I actually had a lay-in this morning, guys. I mean, it's 7 o'clock now. I'm normally up between 3 or 4 on a work day, but I actually slept in till 5. So I had a nice little uh, lay-in, but yeah, time to get this freaking hard drive <laughs> sorted because it has been the bugbear of my life for the past, I'm going to say like almost week. Yeah, it is a week because it was last Friday that it went belly up. Let's do that. Um, am I going to walk into town? If I do, I need to be pronto because it's going to probably take me an hour to walk into town. And hopefully it's not raining. We've had a really bad rain down here this week. Ugh. But yeah, happy Easter. <laughs> I decided I'm not gonna walk into town just because it looks like it's gonna rain. So I thought what I could do is go into town, change this, go into the next town, get me prime up bits and bobs. I need to go into Waterstones because I may have reserved some books. Not all for me, some are for Mum's Easter box. And um, then I can come back and then tomorrow, or I might even have another little walk later on today because I might go back to pick some bits up for like the fake away dinner. But we'll see because mum's staying in there's a few parcels coming so because of the palaver with neighbours our normal neighbour who takes them in isn't in so I was like right if we uh, just have mama G stay in I should only be out for three hours max. I'm going to just um, quickly check the time to see when the buses are coming. Mama G has just woke up I think she's done a coffee and she's back in bed. Where is she? Yep yeah, she's back in bed. <laughs> <laughs> so did she start? Uh, half seven so I've got plenty of time well I'm late but you don't want to get there when it's like first time someone opening up do you so yeah I'm going to have a little moosey on down hopefully get this changed do a little bit of shopping and I shall probably see you when I'm back and then we might be back out again to get some steps in who knows <laughs> Just a little quick pop-up from me, okay? Guys, we have a very, very special collaboration for this part of the video. If you have followed me from last August, roughly, I'd done a collaboration with a brand called Teddy Blake New York. And if you remember, you remember that I received a gorgeous brown leather tote bag. And the team over at Teddy Blake very kindly reached out once again and wanted to see if I would collab on some of their new products. Guys... Do you want to be having that lovely, luxurious Italian leather bag without the thousands and thousands pan sign? Yes. Teddy Blake, as you can see, may be in New York, but they have a team of Italian designers, all from some of our well-known brands beforehand. Mm, they've been pitched, they've been pitched, and oh, such a huge box. And you can literally choose bags upon bags because the styling they have is out of this world they also release new collections every month so make sure if you go onto their website to uh, subscribe to the little mailing list and you will always be up to date with their new releases i went for the bella croco 15 inch bag and i went for this one because i wanted a slightly different vibe i wanted something that could be an everyday item and also needed if i was going away for business so first off they come in these gorgeous dust bags look at that teddy blake new york so you just know that it screams luxury okay it comes in such a huge box, which is great for storage as well after, guys. Don't just be thinking it's just a box it comes in and that's it. No. <gasps> guys, look at this beauty. Premium Italian leather. And I went for the black with red because obviously your girl loves a bit of red. 
you have the buttons that unclasp and oh wow it has this gorgeous can you see that red plush interior it has a shoulder strap as well because we all know if i can have a handbag that can also turn into a crossbody bag even better you have a big open compartment and then at the sides of this you have the bag that can open on a popper and you also have two very handy zips you know to put in if you want like your cards or your money and everything like that how classy is this this is something you could have for a day in town you could have this for a business meeting i cannot wait to get this to good use guys honestly the smell of it i am that person i like to smell my bags please don't think i'm weird absolutely love it as i say premium italian leather without the thousands and thousands pound price mark that unfortunately is what comes with that new styles every month so as i say make sure you subscribe to her mailing list and also keep an eye out for if there's any new collections on the upcoming or any of the previous ones that you've seen that think hmm maybe that catches my eye you know they literally range everything from mini bags to cross bodies totes larger bags you name it they've got it and the prints and color variety wow i could get so lost with the amount of colors there but i thought you know what we have our brown one previously let's stick with a classic black with also a hint of red you know so it's just almost like classy and sophisticated on the outside and you can have a little bit of sauciness on the inside all right you can also get it with different interiors with these there is a lot of styles of which you can choose sometimes the internal piping or branding everything like that but yeah i cannot fault this if you just just appreciate the bag for a moment guys and look at the handles the handles are not a flimsy style that is going to break on you the gold detailing on the zips absolutely fabulous fabulous i will leave all of the details down below guys if you want to grab a little bargain yourself all of it will be down below and also please don't think shipping is going to be ages upon ages mine arrived within two weeks so just think because it's coming from abroad it doesn't matter that it's coming from abroad look at the way our royal mail service is here in england sometimes we can order in the uk and we can be waiting months upon months shipping fast effective quick just what you need to deliver your spanky new product, eh? But yes, thank you once again to the team over at Teddy Blake for kindly collaborating with myself on this video. And yeah, guys, should we get back to the video? And <gasps> you are going to be seeing this in my vlogs. <laughs> it's actually getting really hot out there now. <laughs> so um, safe to say I was absolutely melting. I think me and mum, we might actually walk to tesco later i'll see if she wants a proper it's dinner cold in here, isn't it? it's actually really nice outside i've oh, been melting it? oh right. my back is like sweating well you did have the big fur coat i know you? people was looking at me like why are you in that fur coat no, but it's, it's it was cold this morning when i went out yeah so went to primark got my bits fabulous i'm kind of annoyed i reserved something for mum at waterstones oh, you having a wee wee okay Popped into m and I reserved something for mum at Waterstones and Waterstones don't open till 11 and the time now I think is like quarter past half ten so I weren't waiting so mum's Easter box is going to be a little short today but she will have an extra present tomorrow so yes I had my whole scarf on as well. Where's my bag? You know you have a pen the bag is at, that's fine. So managed to get the hard drive sorted, thank goodness. I managed to return the baby one. Sorry if it keeps going dark, guys. It's because of the sunshine. Um, managed to get a new one. Let's hope. Let's hope this doesn't go belly up. I managed to get a refund on the baby one because luckily I didn't need the baby one. So yeah, you can imagine it's boiling, and I'm in like thick jeans, knee-high boots, jumper, coat, scarf. Yeah, it was um, it was quite a uh. Oh, what's all this? This is right. That's me refund. And that is me exchange. Yeah, I've done the refund on the baby one. Did you have enough on the other ones then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally, I think I had a little bit spare. And then I had a detour into M&S. Can't show my that. That's for a Easter box. So that can go under there. I actually done them quite good. I got some fun bits. Mum, can I look what I got from uh, M&S? Hang on a minute. And also, I went to Primark, and um, because it is the start 
of the new tax year, I've actually got like a separate business card now, an actual business card for all things show. It's my first time using it. Oh, I used the card today. I was like, oh. So, went into M&S. Couldn't get the sheep cheesecakes. Oh. All sold out. However, oh. the man showed me this was the last one. Egg and soldier moose cakes. I know they're not sheep, but that sponge cake with white chocolate wafer base filled with white chocolate mousse and a passion fruit well, cooling. Yeah, that's I thought that was quite nice. Yeah, today, Friday. Literally, so I got there about quarter to nine and it was like empty. They was filling the shelves and I said to the man, have you got any coming in? He's like, we're sold out. What do you mean they'd put them in already and they gone? No, they'd like sold out. They was waiting for another delivery of them. Oh, he right. said they come out Wednesday. I was like, oh. So I said, well, have you got anything like Easter dessert? He said, we've got these. Well, I might pop down tomorrow. <laughs> well, I've got to go tomorrow because I've got to go for my vaccination. So I can pop in again and see if there's any. We go, yeah. We'll see yeah, if mum's yeah. coming with me yeah. or not. But I thought they were oh, quite yeah, big. How much? Actually, I don't even know how much these were. A fiver for two. Oh my god, a bit expensive. <laughs> I think the cheesecakes were a fiver. <laughs> oh well, that don't matter. And yeah. then, all right. I couldn't find an Easter drink, but I found something like spring oh, pink right. raspberry lemonade. Oh, that's all right. Shouldn't you warm? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, god. you're lovely, mum. I'm freezing, viewers. I'm freezing. <laughs> it is quite nice out there. And then I've got like a few little snacks for us today. I've got a veggie samosa and a chicken tikka samosa. Oh, that's all that right. samosas are very nice. And I thought we could actually put them either in the air fryer or the oven and have them warm. Uh, uh, the air fryer, I, I really blitzed this week, viewers. Monday and Tuesday, as I told you, I said, Shannon, we're not using the air fryer. We're not using the oven because it's brand new. But we did last night and I've wiped it already. And then I also that's Shannon's mum every time. <laughs> a hog roast sausage roll. Oh, that was nice. A hog roast. It, it was a pig something to do with Easter then. Sage and onion sausage meat with pulled pork, bramley apples topped with sea salt pork crackling. But I'm saying it's a pig something to I do don't know. With I just saw bit. snacks oh, and I, I was getting yeah. hungry. Because I thought I was going to try and pick up some sushi. I think that was two pound. Oh, that's not too bad. Large samosas, two pound. And the sausage roll, £2. Oh, right. That's all right. And then... We do like Marks and Spencers and Waitrose, viewers. I got some more crumpets, but look! I know they're not really spring. They are mainly, I think, for little boys, but... We haven't got no boys, Shannon. But they only had the Easter egg bunny ones, but or got... these. And I thought, that's what, six for one fifty. Yeah, yeah, that's the prop. Oh, it's six now. Yeah, six of these ones. I think Howard would four was four one... for one twenty-five. Yeah. But oh, that's an right. alternative. And then I got you your paper because I know oh, I don't. You. I think the papers are a waste of money. It's like fair paper. No, no, it's yeah, so tiny. It's all, it's all and then I couldn't get the savoury hot cross buns. But if we go Tesco later, we can have a look. I've got some brown apple ones. Oh, okay, then I. I thought they'd be quite nice to try. And they was one ninety each or two for three quid. I managed to pick up each or two for three quid. The mini ones. Oh, well done, well done. So we've got some mini ones. I mean, even though we've still got three packs there. Sure, but no, why are you buying the bags too? Well, I didn't, they had no checkouts open. It was all oh. self-serve. And I was oh, getting God. very kerfuffled trying to deal with that and that. So yeah. I thought, I'll just buy that big bag and then I could put my hard drive in it and it'd be done and dusted. Right. So, yeah. So on, on this thing for the blog... And on the Primark, have you used your American no, Express? No, no, I've used the business one for Primark. But oh, this oh. I just... But this Do I you just, hear that, viewers? The business card. I feel she really thingy, want, like... She won't want my little card now. I was like, when I went to use it, I thought, oh my God, please tell me they take it. But like, no, this I put, just... Does it work the same and you put a pin in in that? Still put a pin in, but I didn't know oh, how right. it works for a refund, so I'll do the first set of refunds. Oh, okay. But this I just got on the normal card because I thought okay. it was just snacks. Yeah. But yeah, I oh. didn't do too bad for timing. I waited a couple of minutes for me bus to get into town to do me hard drive. Was she there? Yeah, yeah, I was 10 minutes early. They didn't open till 8. Oh, wow. So um, I just had a little look around, tried to see if I could find any Easter bits there. They didn't really have much, to be honest. I, I, I meant to say to you, go into Lidl because they were advertising a chocolate uh, unicorn, but they didn't have any when I went in. Or Lidl was Ramo when I drove back. I can imagine. And then I only had to wait for the bus about... 10 minutes to get into the next town and what then when I come back I only had to wait about four or five minutes oh 
So I thought it weren't too bad for timing. And so because it's you... Easter hours, I got Mum a book for her Easter box, and they weren't open. So when I go into town tomorrow, I'll pick up the books so she'll have a belated present so for did, her box So did tomorrow. you only change the hard drive and go to Eminence and Primary then at the next day? Yeah, because I had two big bags. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to carry them all right. on my own. So I thought if I go tomorrow, I'll go to see if I need my jabs. I need to pop into boots anyway because I want to pick up some more cream have, for have my you, cheeks. Have you not got uh, have your eyes tested tomorrow? No, my opticians is made. Tomorrow's to see if I need any oh, jabs, right, 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 which I don't think I do, but I'm just going in case. And then I can pick up you, the books you, tomorrow. You sure and also, it's good because Waterstones is now double stamps. Oh. So whatever I've bought, it'll be double the value what, worth. No, no, I've got a newer book and I've got a couple of books and some little bits and bobs. So whatever that amount is, say if it was like £20, you get the equivalent of £40 in stamps. Oh, so you spend 60 you only pay 20 No, no, you'd spend 60 but you'd get £120 worth of points. Oh, I mean, but they... Like stamps. But they still take that thing off of your purchases, don't they? Yeah, I think I've only got one more stamp until I have a free £10. Right, But right. I can, like, go that over into the next one. Right, right. Oh. But yeah. I thought, well, because I didn't know, right, what do you want for dinner tonight? Do you want a proper dinner or do you want no, because we did last sweets? Night. Sweets and snacks. So, right, so tonight we we'll film the... Yeah? No, no, tonight oh. we'll taste test the American candy then if you want a sweet one. What, what, your lady sent you? We'll yeah, do yeah, that yeah. tonight. But I thought, like, samosas and little bits and bobs we can just munch um, throughout what, the day. What did you, you think, that uh, oven last night, we don't have to keep it on... <coughs> to get warm now because it's a brand new one. I still let you heat up for about it, it 10 was, minutes. It was only like time. 20 pence extra on that thing. Mm-hmm. And what time did you put the chicken in? Half six? Yeah. And to oh, wait, that's an hour and a half and it's only a 20p extra. It's not bad. Yeah. So, I think what I'm going to do is... Oh. Are, are you in today now? No, you're back. Well, that's what I'm just thinking because if we're having sweet bit for dinner tonight, I'll cook a proper dinner tomorrow. Because I've got to film me fake away. So we can have that tomorrow, if you want. What, what, what uh, you're going to cook something tomorrow, proper meal? Yeah, I've got a couple of options, so right. we'll decide which one. Sunday is obviously the roast dinner of all roast dinners. And then Monday really? I might do me little baking. And then Monday will be leftover lamb and veg and all that. Yeah, yeah, so we the need, size of the leg. We need to get the leg of lamb out tomorrow then. Yeah. In the morning to let it defrost properly for Sunday. So I think today, <laughs> I might have a bath in a minute, and then I'll be in, because I'm starting to get cramps. I've only got a film Primark today, so that's Oh, good. is that why you had to get it? Yeah. the April one for you. Yes, so I will film Primark. I'm going to have a bath, film Primark, and then we'll probably tuck into some snacks. And then tonight, obviously, we're having a sweet dinner. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Right, see you in a bit. From miles away, I can tell that something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk, I think you said enough You said you love for me something brand new You said this is something you would never do Here we are in your car Let me see who you are Who you really are Right, so had me bath, put on some clothes, and now we're just gonna quickly put a little bit of slap on. As I say, very basic, you know my go to. I need to really sort out my lashes because I think I have some new pairs somewhere, they're not in my eyelash drawer. So I think also over Easter. Need to be productive in terms of potentially like having a little bit of a tidy up because the dressing table, I mean, she's not terrible, but she is getting a little bit messy. Like, not that you can see from this side, this side will be where I'm filming. Uh, and my nails lifting, I feel like I might change my nails as well. I know I've only had these for two weeks, but now it is slightly getting nicer. I'm not vibing with the dark brown, or it's kind of like I don't even know what it is, it's kind of an odd brownie khaki like i know what's going to happen this now is going to rip off when i'm filming the primark so actually while we're sitting here quickly just put a little tad 
bit of glue on it because as I say that's the last thing I need when I'm doing my Primark haul for this to ping off. Just put it under and just press it down. So yeah, I think today I'm in now. I'm going to be productive, put some slap on. I'm really fancying some crumpets with mini roulade cheese. But I mean, I'm already bloated as it is with Mother Nature. I bloat to oblivion. I haven't even eaten anything today and I'm already bloated. So I thought, no, I'll eat after. So I'm thinking, film, do the try on clips, have some crumpets, edit, and then will I keep my makeup on? I mean, I have to try and look somewhat presentable for you sometimes. Because if not, I'm just an abysmal mess, ain't I? Um, and then obviously tonight, me and mum, you won't really see much of what we're eating because we will be filming the taste testing American candy, which she uh, decided because she don't want a proper dinner tonight. <laughs> she was like, nah, because we had a proper dinner last night. It's been a mixture of like proper dinners and tidbits dinners and that. But uh, yeah, so I will actually, oh no, I'm going to have the crumpets, but... I want me samosas. I think it depends what the time is. We'll see what the time is when we're done. Um, I don't know where. Where would I put my phone? I tell you what, my lovelies, when it's time of the month as well, I get like proper brain fog. I don't know. Oh, it's on my bed. Look at that. Silly, silly, silly. It was on my bed all along. I've also just had to order Dada a KFC. So that must mean he's um, he used his allowance on his card. Maybe for an Easter bet. Who knows? But yeah, he's just called to say, oh, can you give me some KFC? So I've done his order on that. And oh, I thought I'd give you an update with my skin. So the rosacea cream that I've got, the natural one from Holland and Barrett, I do notice it makes a difference when I put it on. And I'll probably say I get three to four hours and then like by my lunchtime at work, I notice my skin is very dry again. And I know mum says it's because you like coming into your new skin and that. But oh my god, guys. My skin is so, so dry at the moment. Like I feel I have to slather my skin in like creams. I'm even thinking I'm actually going with some primer as well. Because... Yeah, we'll use a bit of primer. It's just not, I don't know why. My skin hasn't been like this bad for years. But it's just very, very, oh, don't say I've run out of my favourite primer. Looks like when I go into tan tomorrow, I need to pick up a primer as well. Because I haven't actually, I can't remember the last time I wore makeup. You guys will know from my latest videos probably the one that you'll see or the one that i'm filming today you would have already seen the primark that's the one that i've actually put makeup on for because before that home bargains i didn't have makeup on for and the rest have been vlogs so yeah you will see a little bit of a change in my skincare at the moment i'm not gonna lie i think i messed myself up i think i messed myself up with the products that i actually really really enjoyed the body shot but i think i just took too much off and you guys said to me like no don't use it like that and i just use it a bit too much i think so um yeah that's a little bit annoying so i've got to kind of go back to basics i am still doing a face mask i probably say twice a week my himalayan charcoal one and then i do a rose one just to kind of like calm me and try and get it repairable so yeah um makeup is not really something you see much at the moment but i'm trying to focus on getting my skin back to how it was before i absolutely destroyed it i mean it's not terrible it's just the dryness so when it's dry what do we do chuck loads of moisture on it so yeah shall we um put you on a time lapse and let's start to try and make ourselves somewhat presentable eh? Let's be our 
honest for a second Yeah, you're being over your head, babe Cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel The way you feel when I hold you I think I said enough Voila, I just need to sort out this hair, dry shampoo it to the nines and I might get mum to do two little plaits actually, I haven't had my hair in plaits for a while. Hmm. Right, let's get the hair sorted and I'll show you how I look at the end before we start our Primark filming. Right, so I've just finished filming, I haven't done my trial clips yet but I said to mum, let's put the oven on because I am chilly and also, oh, Let's put you there. I want to put the samosas in. Are you going to stay? You might be a bit on the walk. So we'll take all of the trays out. And then, I don't actually know how long they take. But obviously, I like to heat. This is all good, Just want to see 15 minutes. 15 minutes, so that's fine. So we can heat up the oven, I'd say, for at least like 10 15. And then right. you've got to show me which knobs on it. I'm still not used it yet. You just turn it. Oh right. We'll put it to about 180. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought that can be heating up while I'm doing my trial and that. And then show me. Don't need it heating up now. It's a new oven. Well, okay. Well, it takes 15 to 20 minutes, so I can do my trial clips in with that. Let's have a look. For the sake, I am hungry. And I'm cold. Yeah, it's cold. It's absolutely freezing. Oh, viewers, they're all crinkly. <laughs> we will both be getting under our electric blankets, that's for sure. I need to um actually, I've had a bath. I've done that. I need to put mine on my bed. Sort yours out. So yeah, I've got it out and tried it. We need to like fully put it out over Mum's bed for her. Oh, that's a nice piece of roll. And then. I've just put some candles on in my room and then after I've done my try on clips, I will be getting in my dressing gown, I will be getting under my quilt and blanket and then I will edit away and I think I'll also start, we'll start doing a little bit of the transfer. We'll just have a look, these are big. These remind me of the big samosas you know we've got. No, oh. so what one have you just opened there? That's the veg. Big so that's one. veg then with the thing. If we put the chicken ticker one at the other end, this one. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Right. But then once at your ideal <laughs> home, that's bad, no. Into the oven, 20 minutes. I'll do my trial and clip, then we'll get some food. Third time. I've just finished filming her primer because you can tell my hair is a bit <coughs> goo with, but just in time for food. And I am hungry. Hungry, hungry. What do you want to start with? A random samosa or the Rand oh, random right. samosa? We'll go with this one because this was one of the last cup. Okay. I love a bit of m and &S, um, It's kind of like, I so thought they did a meal deal, but they don't. So we don't know what this is, do we? I think this is a big one. <sighs> this is oh vegetable. Oh, cool. Oh. It's vegetable. <laughs> no, hot from the oven. Give me a tissue. <laughs> I need a tissue for. My eyes. Yeah. Because I've got a cough, haven't I, there? <laughs> Definitely very nice from the oven. Yeah, they're hot, aren't they? The oven's working properly. <laughs> it's not burning stuff before we actually get to eating it. No. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna have to blow it. I must have an asbestos mouth. <laughs> I like my food open hot. I think this is looking at you spinach, potato, peas, carrots. I was looking because I was sure that MS done a meal deal. Obviously, not. But 
I was yeah, going to get some thing for twenty pound. No, um, no, like a sandwich meal bill. Oh right. And I was actually shocked because some of the sandwiches were four fifty, but they did look really nice. They do a hot cross bun BLT. So it's a BLT, and instead of it being bread, it's a hot cross bun. But it was out of stock because so I really wanted to get is, that. If, if the sandwich is four fifty, then Shannon, how much is their meal deal? Six well, pen. There was not a meal bill. Oh, there was. I thought there was. Oh. oh. Expensive for a sandwich, isn't it? I saw the roast chicken and stuff in. That was three seventy five. But looking at them, it looks like good bread and it's proper filled. Right. So I think that's, I mean, obviously you're paying because it's M&S, but I might actually pop back in when I'm in town tomorrow and see if they've got the hot cross bun BLT, because I think that'd be nice. Oh. <laughs> mm. This ain't that filling. <laughs> actually, this, this, you can, it's a bit spice, isn't it? I was waiting for her to say that it's spicy. It's not spicy, it's just flavoursome. Yeah. The pig. Hmm? The pig is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> and how much was these? Two pounds. Oh. How much was uh, the I do Hmm. Oh. I love the crispy pastry when it's been in the oven. Oh, I just dropped it. Hey? Almost just dropped the plate. You can get bigger uh -huh. or thicker filled ones, and you can get a lot naffer ones. I think that for two quid, I think is on par flavour, like what you'd expect for a couple of quid. Have you dropped someone? No. Pastry is actually very nice. Thank you. Mm. See, all this stuff you can eat cold. I really like their pots. I think they're like 150 and you either get like prawns with a normal sauce or prawns with sweet chilli. You get carrot sticks with hummus, oh, falafel, the little, the little rectangle pots. Yeah, like in uh, the other shops. I like them. I was looking to see if they had any of my Orzo salad because I love the Orzo Mediterranean salad, but they didn't have any in. But they'd done a big feta and sun-dried tomato. I think it was £3. Oh. And now I love the feta and sun-dried tomato from Tesco. The last time we got a lot from Mark's was when we went to uh, the uh, art gallery where we went to Wagamama's, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. But they do an Easter meal deal. A main dish and three sides for 20 quid. That's right. That's what I see in the paper. So if there's only like... <laughs> but they said that does six people. Well, not from the little Johnson. No, four up. people. Yeah. I think that would do us comfortably. Yeah. I don't know if you'd get four portions out of it. Hmm. Well, it says four. That depends how many do you have, really. <laughs> a lot of these dying for four of <coughs> is like two for me and one. Because you want a couple of decent slices of meat. Yeah, but the veggie's nice. Yeah, they did have they a did. nice veg selection. I was trying to think what veg I want to have for Easter. I think it had... Obviously carrots. No, yeah, I think it had carrots, cabbage, and I'm not sure whether it looked like a mixed sweet, a mashed sweet. Oh, I like that. What's this, the hog roast? Mm. Sausage meat, stuffing, crackling, brownie apple sauce. Oh, that's a bit of me, that is. Mmm. I like that. Again, like... When you're going Greg's, how much is a sausage roll on Greg's? Uh, 
one, one ten or one twenty now. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got like one fifty. No, the steak bake is one ninety now. Creeping up. In certain places, they're doing the Greg's drive through. I've seen the paper. Is that up north, maybe? Probably, yeah. See, when you think sometimes, like, for what you pay for a pasture or a break in, like, the likes of Greg's and there, that, I think, is quite a big size because it's done me and you a decent slab mm. and it's flavourful. Sometimes Greg's is just, like, plain. It goes good or bad. If you get Greg's at the right time, it's great. If you get it at the wrong time in our local, it's just, it's abysmal. I like it when the steak bag has just come out, but it's not mm. red hot. Because you do seem to get quite a bit of steak in it now. Mm. What would you say your favourite thing from Greg's was? What's that steak bag? I really like the sausage and bean cheese milk. Oh, right, yeah. I like them and the tuna crunch baguettes. But they're expensive, aren't they? But they are three the ones I always get are filled. Yeah, but three pounds, but if you don't eat it there, they're they're three fifty or three sixty. Just for a half no, a baguette. You, I think you get charged more if you eat in. Oh. Because it's like cutlery um tissues and whatever. Oh. I think takeout's less. I, um let me know if I'm wrong guys. I think is it takeout is less? <sighs> But I think it shouldn't matter if you're in or out. Ah, yeah. But they say it's like for the condiments or like the <coughs> tissues and all of that jazz. But three pandals, you still a lot for a stick, isn't it? Yeah, but it's always a good feel sit and it don't have mayo, which is what I like. Yeah, but it's not a tin of tuna in there, Shannon. You probably wouldn't be far off. It's the ones I get from the local are always fully packed. So a tin of tuna is 75 pence then. A bread roll, 25, that's a pound. Then you have uh, peppers. Onion, lettuce. Yeah, not a great deal. I've never had a wrong tuna crunch from there. Mm. Some of the others I see, and I think there's no filling whatsoever in that. Because uh, I've not had a Subway, but they've gone up a pound now. Five ninety nine. You know the three oh. thing. I wonder how much a foot long is now, because I didn't bother about with six inches. If I have a Subway, I have a foot long. How much did the Subway used to be the foot long? I think a foot long used to be about seven quid. So it's probably eight there. A pound's gone on. I ain't had, oh, I ain't had Subway in ages. No, me neither. Meatball marinara, toasted cheese on Italian herb and cheese bread. Then I have onion, sweet corn, lettuce, cucumber, no sauce. Mm. <laughs> or I don't actually mind the, um, like the vegetarian patty one. I like that with a honey and mustard sauce and loads of salad. That's quite nice. And then the last bit... <coughs> A chicken ticker one. I'm actually looking forward to this one. Oh, you would be. <laughs> you watch mum be like, spicy. Mm, you can have this. If this is called gun. Yum. That's nice. I've only got the pastry yet. <laughs> It's not spicy. <coughs> oh. So see, see how many two flavours they've done? Yeah. Chicken. So you've got some potato. A few peas. They do a pot. And I think it's spinach and boiled egg. Like, if you're a real, like, health fanatic. Yeah. I don't really like boiled eggs. I'd rather go for the falafel and the hummus they do. That look nice. I think they got a whole... Uh, it can just go whole, but I'm not sure whether it's two in a pot. Just the boiled eggs. I think it's one fifty, which I didn't think was two bags. I mean, it's all right if you want to get, like... But that, that works out, one fifty, four fifty for six eggs when... Six eggs are like two fifty when you look at it like that, isn't it? But I suppose boiled eggs are kind of finicky because you've got to boil them, then let them cool and crack them and get the shell off. Mm. If you're on the go, people might just think I can't be bothered. 
I'm not really one for boiled egg. An egg sandwich is nice, but now they're, I think they're £2 or two fifty. a really nice egg sandwich. Well, no. I don't mind. Is it a soft boiled egg? Mm. Where you can, it's still a bit thingy to put your soldiers in. Oh. I don't mind that. But I would say my favourite, oh, I don't know what my favourite egg is. Probably I'd say scrambled. Well, I like poached. Mum likes poached. I love scrambled. I'd probably say scrambled, fried, poached, then soft boiled. What would you do at your four eggs? <coughs> poached, uh, soft boiled, fried, and scrambled last. You prefer a soft boiled over a fried mm, egg? Mm. You never do soft boiled eggs, Mum. You always do fried eggs. I know, because I can't get them right. <laughs> I do try it. And I'd like to try that thing, you know, you say spin the water, put a couple of drops of uh, vinegar, vinegar in, break the egg, and then it should float to the top. I've never tried that. So how do you do poached eggs before? I used to do in the microwave thingy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like that yeah. yeah, but it sometimes goes bang, doesn't it? <laughs> you end up with egg in the microwave. <laughs> No, in the container. It's supposed oh, to it? come out and it's supposed to be soft and it's either rock hard or... Oh, no, that's how we always used to do poached eggs at college. Yeah. But we'd have like, imagine our big stock pot, you'd have that filled <coughs> and you'd just dump about four or five in at once. What, spin it? And then quickly let it get to the boil, next batch. Do you have to spin it though and put that couple so of, bit of the vinegar? Motion. Yeah. I mean, you can get um, little silicon holders... That you can, once you swirl it, you just drop it in to do a poached egg. Look online because we need to get a silicon uh, air fryer thing. Oh, she wants the insert now because she don't want anything on the base no. of the air fryer. <laughs> we put greaseproof paper in it when we done the cream eggs and um, that went almost on fire. Yeah. So we can't put greaseproof paper in it. So you want a silicon liner. We'll see how much one needs then. Okay. I mean, I just literally put it on the base of the air fryer, but now Mum's cleaned it all. She's like, no. And do you know, I've cleaned it all outside in the kettle mm -hmm. and inside. I'm surprised you didn't go in the kitchen and was dazzled by the... All she kept saying last night was, oh, I can't let, I'm going to let it get warm and then I'm going to clean the thing from the chicken thing. I was like, just leave it till tomorrow. It's fine. No, I let it cool down and I've got the jake off in and I've wiped it all. Oh, you've already cleaned yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Cleaned the glass? Yeah. And there was a sticky patch there. So I went and got the uh, the soft bit of the pad, and I was there last <laughs> night, and I've done it all. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'll have to go on the naughty step for you, won't I? She's, like, obsessed now with the oven. <laughs> and it's like, well, you can't use it. I've cleaned it. I'm like, they need to be used, Mother. That will, like, our last one viewers was 11, so I thought, I will be 63, 73, 74. So if that lasts, that's still. <laughs> but we do use the oven, didn't we? It was in use, wasn't it? You think when it's like Christmases and Halloweens and yeah. stews? And I don't even think, Shan, that I had a professional person we've ever had to clean it, have we? Dad has. Well, Dad has to with his wife. No, but then uh, his landlord took it out and he got a new one, so he said I could have saved £60. Oh, yeah. I didn't think they were too bad. No. What would you say your favourite one? Veg, samosa, chicken tikka or hog roast? The hog roast. I like the hog roast. Yes. Yeah. I'd say hog roast... Chicken tikka and then veg, for me. No, the other way around. You'd have yeah. Hot even even though the, veg and chicken tikka. Even though that was a bit hot. What spicy? No, no, well, not for you. <clears throat> Where's the little lunchtime snack? What is the time? What is the time? Probably about three o'clock. Yeah, five past three. So I'm gonna chill and edit me Primark haul. All right. And then I'm gonna read a bit more of the book. Mum's gonna read some of her book. I think after I've done that, I'm gonna start slowly. She's saying to me, "Viewers, I've got staying to wait for a parcel. There's no post today." I know. Actually, I need to check that. Yeah, Mel yeah. said that we was here today. I think you've got it wrong, Shan. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow, Saturday. DHL is coming approximately Tuesday. And then no, because they emailed me. What's DHL then? Um, my bag that I bought. Oh yeah, yeah. Only a little one in the cell. Oh. Um, where was it? Royal Mail, Royal Mail. I did say so, viewers, but she said, Mum. Well, oh, yeah, it's Saturday, my bad. <laughs> Why do they send it two days in advance? 
turning. I could, I could have been at the laundry today and done a bag. Instead, I've been sitting there twiddling my thumbs. And also, I had to wait two till four for our little uh, everyman, and he's come at That's half two. Fine. Oh, yeah, my bad, Saturday the 8th. Oh, you could have come into no, town no, with me. No, no, no. We could have done more shopping. <laughs> no. You said that's not your bag. No, DHL is my bag. When's that? That's approximately Tuesday. Tomorrow oh, is right. a couple of books coming from Smith. Right, right. Oh, so Royal Mail was coming tomorrow, as I said it would. <laughs> Why do they take so much, like, <coughs> so early? Because <coughs> you haven't read it properly, Shannon. Well, no, I do. I just see it and I see the time and I'm like, yeah. Okay. I mean, I did go to Boots today because I thought that my appointment was today. It's not. It's tomorrow. So that was good because otherwise that would have been it a, is a worry. When are you getting your eyes tested? Opticians ain't till May. Oh, well, I think you need to get them sooner then if you can't <laughs> read what's on that screen. I worry, viewers, because she drives. <laughs> aye, 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 yes. Saturday the 8th. And she said, Mum, there's something wrong with the tyre. Right. Oh, yeah, there was like a big I went down, it. a big blob on it. I thought something... I no, thought no. I'd ripped it or it blew out. What it was, they've been laying wet blacktop viewers and Shannon's gone through with the tyre. and it's There weren't a sign! No, and it's grabbed a little bit and stuck to the tyre. I've managed to get quite a bit off, but it, it, it won't matter with the tyre. There was no sign and no thing. You could see the machine was laying it, but I thought it was down at the bottom. Obviously, they'd laid the front. <coughs> well, it's okay. I just saw it and I thought, oh, my God, it looked like a big gouge out of it. And I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, no. really? And it's not like it's a big lump on there. I've managed to peel quite a bit off. Oh, but I won't know until I move my wheel if there's anything underneath or whatever. What, any more? I don't know. I think all four tyres have been through. It was only the front one that I saw it on. Oh, right. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to edit. And then I just say, tonight, you'll see us pottering around. But Mum wants a sweet dinner tonight. So tonight yeah. we're going to be taste testing all of the American <laughs> candy. But I am yeah. now going to edit. Start exporting, and I'm going to put my blanket on because I am cold. Oh, then. Not liking this coldness. Right, see you in a bit. You're literally balanced on the old hard drive right now. So, I had a little snack there, you would have seen. I also edited and had a little nap. Yes. Fell asleep. And now I'm watching some YouTube and I thought, you know what? I just said to mum, she's popped out to the laundrette to do some washing. I said to her, you're hungry for your sweet treat tonight? She went, well, actually, no, I don't think I am. I'm like, mum, I don't want to waste them sweeties all the way from America and Canada if you're not fully in the mood for it so i don't even know if we're doing that tonight <laughs> it might be i'll do one of my my protein ready meals mum might end up getting chicken shop or whatever that jazz so i said to her let me know later if not it's all good i'm watching some youtube at the moment i managed to find the coca-cola dream world cans again they was almost a pound though so i only bought three i was like i can't be having a whole stock food fridge look because last time i got them and they were like 20p but i didn't show you guys i bought a microphone i bought a microphone woohoo it was in the sale on amazon and i was like bargain so i can either sit and talk to it into like this one two one two fabulous my uh, video has just finished exporting that is um primark all edited i just need to oh Put it in the system now to upload or sad. 
old curry's feedback so i bought this it was on my wish list and i thought you know what i wanted to treat myself to a new little bit of tech obviously after all of the problem with the hard drive a little bit hesitant so i thought i'll get a mic and this was actually in the amazon spring sale and i think it was like 90 pound down to 40 or 45 so i thought hey it'd be rude not to eh so i got this and what i will use this for is when i do my voiceovers and like i would like to use it for sit down with shans but i don't know where i could put it for it to pick up the motion you know so it would definitely be for when i'm doing my voiceovers whether that be like morning and evening routines or my reset day vlogs so i've got that that's fabulous i mean my my bed now actually looks like curries and i'm going to try and reinstall oh i can never open these things and i don't like to use my teeth because that never ends up well so actually no we'll put it like that because i don't want to break my pen can we just pop it there we go i'm going to try and set the new hard drive up famous last words <laughs> can't be having any more palavas can we my lovelies i've just turned my electric blanket off because my goodness i was melting oh they put it on so tightly you can never get into it let's have a look can i oh yeah yeah guys is it there Hey Presto, have we got it? No, not quite. <sighs> Tell I've got no upper body strength. I can't even take a sticker off of a um, tick box. That is a hard sticker. Please recycle. Well, I'm not going to recycle you until after 30 days now because the palaver we are trying to exchange you. So if you're not into tech or hard drives this is probably really boring for you and oh my goodness please don't fall <laughs> you're stuck there um but this is what i need i'm afraid i need stuff like this and as i say people at work have probably been really bored of me this week because they're like you all right and i was like no my hard drive's on the bling so every day it was like how's the hard drive i'm still transferring still transferring but I've got to get it set up and register. So you register it on Seagate. Register that so then it is linked to my account. So if anything were to go wrong, touch wood it doesn't. It's all <laughs> covered and it's all hunky-dory. I think I might just start off with the baby hard drive to transfer first. Let's just... The bed is like a... Um, recycling bank at the moment we're just going to go with it we're going to go with it um, how do I open god packaging so finickety guys but yeah i'm just sitting here watching a bit of youtube i'm going to start this transfer set it up see what happens and uh we should be good to go right where's just a uk one they never there it is because everything comes with like no what's this there we go everything comes with like the um modern adapters because obviously if you have it abroad because seagate is actually from america i think mainly but yes anyway i don't want to bore you anymore i'm going to try set this up and i'll check in with you and god knows what we're gonna have for dinner eh? it's a little later it's almost seven o'clock um i've done one part transfer which is off the laptop so that's fine and i'm going to start with the baby hard drive first because that's the one it's the one i want to kind of get sorted so that i can put all the photos on but yes i was thinking actually if mum don't want a sweet dinner as opposed to cooking like a big big dinner we've got some easter pasta left with some pasta sauces we have cheese we have crispy onions maybe do a little pasta dish that is what i'm thinking and this time next week guys i will actually be in my concert ah! oh my god yes i will be in the concert of the o2 oh god 
please excuse the uh, way I look in this lighting a little bit terrible so yeah the plan is also me and mum need to do our good friday boxes see I kind of want to do them tomorrow now because mum's isn't complete I feel like we might do them tomorrow because I don't I don't want her box to not be complete and like be like oh you get this late up so I might say to her can we do them tomorrow we'll do them like tomorrow afternoon we'll get in our pjs because we've got matching pjs so cute they're not necessarily easter they're kind of like spring vibes because it was really hard to get easter pjs and you guys sent me some from studio but when i went on i think like the cut off point i missed it wouldn't have got to me in time so slightly gutted and i forgot half of it so i think tonight i'll see when mom gets back i might do just like a little pasta dinner i might see if she wants to watch the lewis capaldi documentary with me because that's come out on netflix and i really want to watch that because currently um the laptop is set up like this again we are on there two hard drives the original big hard drive is behind that but for now i don't want to touch the big hard drive i just want to do like one at a time before i end up having an absolute nightmare but i think i've put the heating on because it is still a little bit chilly and i'm going to run a bath in a minute i'm going to read a bit of my book while my bath is running i won't show you my bath tonight i feel like my creme de la creme bath is going to be sunday sunday's gonna be an all-out day the day that i do nothing basically i feel that it's just gonna be a pajama day for me and mum we're gonna chill a little bit of filming i want to try and start a new series i want to start that night agent and literally just indulge in really good food tomorrow now tomorrow she will probably want to do the sweet treats but then I'm thinking when we, well, I've got to go into town after boxer size. I've got to go and sort out the Primark bits that I'm taking back. And I've got to go for my vaccination talk. So I'm thinking if mum comes to meet me in town, after Royal Mail's been, of course. I mean, trust me to get the wrong freaking day, eh? Um, <laughs> once mum if royal mail's been in time i might see if she wants to pop into town because there's a few new restaurants but then i'm thinking we just we've got a lot of meals coming up i worked out guys from i think it's like this sunday six weeks i'm busy every sunday and pretty much they're up london so we've got that this sunday that the following sunday Oh, and then I think I've got a week, or I've got two weeks break. But then from the middle of May, I am pretty much in London every Sunday or doing something. Or I'm away at the Cotswolds with Dada. So, yes, it is a very, very eventful. I have um, the Countdown Plus app, which I would highly recommend. It's a free app, um, and it just lets you put in all the stuff kind of like that you would forget about or like stuff to look forward to so i put like my menial stuff like opticians a bit supposed like that in my um diary but i do like to have something like that because also at the end of the year i like to look back on what i've done even like through hair changes we've gone through quite a few hair changes this year mum's hair is booked in mum's hair is all booked in ready to go the only thing i will not be able to film mum's hair because i will be at work mum's actually going while i am at work hers is booked in i think it's middle of may i want to say middle of may just before like everything starts kicking off with going up london so she'll be all fresh fresh and snazzy to go so yeah but what i think i will do kind of like a little video where we see her before and then like i might see if she wants her nails done she probably won't but i'll be like do you want me to do a little set of nails on you maybe give her like a nice little pamper and that can be like her little glow up video and we'll see how it goes i think she didn't want anything too drastic we was going through very drastic measures and then she was just like no i don't want that so she's gonna have subtle changes but it's gonna be a big change for her so yeah um i'm going to go in the bath speaking of mama g here she is coming in i'm going to jump in the bath and then i shall see you for whatever we decide for dinner i'm out of the bath and i'm actually very hot now i feel like i need to turn the heating off because i've got all my candles going 
I'm going to ask mum if she wants the heating turned off. But guys, I've put in this claw clip from Primark that I got, the pack of two, and I'm obsessed because I could never get like the fan vibe. And I know probably the fan vibe ain't to everyone's style, but I love the fan vibe. So, um, as I predicted, mum didn't want a sweet dinner. So I was like, shall we do some pasta? She was like, yeah. So let's see. Should we do some pasta? Oh, yep. Coughing and choking in response. She's still got her little cough, but she cannot shift. Where can we put you? Let's put you there. You're going to go very blue. So, I think we're going to go for like a carbonara sauce. We've got some crispy onions, grated cheese, carbonara from Lidl. And then, of course, Easter pasta. Mum was like, we're going to use all of it. I was like, no, Mum, we're not going to use that whole bag of pasta. But it's better than having nothing, eh? And it's uh, semi-healthy, right? Pasta, carbonara sauce. I mean, I would say it's healthy. I should probably measure this, but should we measure it? We'll try and be good. We need to be back on the good scale, guys. We've got a cup. We'll do two cups of pasta. Oh, God. And then we'll have the uh, sauce. Oh, actually, two cups might be that whole thing. And you know if there's like a tiny bit left, you just think, right, so that was two cups, and that's what's left. So yes, we are going to use If I see any more in... Lidl, we will pick some oh, up. Considering it's a third of the price, the TK Maxx was. Yes, yes. So we're going to have that. I need the little pan to heat the sauce up. And then, are you going to have crispy onions on yours or just cheese? Um, we'll see how that is. See how that goes. You know what? It's not a bad um, carbonara sauce from Lidl. That's Lidl one. Yeah. Actually, not bad. And how much are they? Because these are deluxe. I think 75 or 79. It's not bad. Oh. So let's get cooking some pasta, right? Oh. Things I've never been so close. So, laptop is transporting and we have a nice little bowl of a carbonara. I have cheese and onions. Mum just has crispy onions and it's very warm. So the electric blanket has gone off. We're going to watch the Lewis Capaldi documentary because there's been a lot about it. And as I say, we all know I actually love Lewis Capaldi. I could be Nick's the next. Nick's? No, I could be the next Lewis Capaldi. But I can't because he has a partner now. So... I'm out of the question, but it's an hour and 40 documentary. Let's see how it goes, eh? good bit emotional i love i my love for lewis capaldi has just got even more we need to protect that human at all costs i said he's definitely on my <laughs> list to see <laughs> next because i tried to get tickets this year and they just like <laughs> flew out the freaking window so uh yeah he is my next one i've took all my makeup off i've slathered my face in cream and everything and it is a 10 to 10 so we're going to hit the sack now because I need to get up early tomorrow. I'm back at gym. Yeah. Got my box of size, so I'll probably leave here about quarter past, 20 past seven-ish. Have a slow walk up. I'll get there for just gone eight. That way I can chill. Before my class, I've got to pack a little bit, so I'll take it back to Primark. Go to the gym with them, and then I can go straight to Boots, 
and then go into Primark after and also I need to go to Waterstones to pick up the final book for Mum's Things. So tomorrow night we will be having our Easter boxes. We'll be in our Easter PJs. Yeah. So it'll be a good, good day. I think tomorrow we'll get the lamb out in the morning because it oh. is a huge leg mm. and we need to make sure it is like thoroughly defrosted. Yep. And then while I'm out in town, I might even have a look <laughs> and try and get the veg and potatoes. Oh. Well, God, don't want to do them. No, I want like big ones because I want to do proper roasties. Oh, then, okay. I'll have to get some eggs because I need some bits from Yorkshire's. Can you use skim milk? Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, oh. Or I might actually just get a little carton of semi skimmed. Oh. We'll do a list. But yes, happy Good Friday, and we shall see you bright and early Easter Saturday morning. No, no. <laughs>
The cabbage was 65p. Oh. The broccoli was 129 for that big one, but the carrots and bag of potatoes was 19p. No, sure. I wanted not. to get parsnips, but the parsnips were tiny. So I thought I'm oh. not going to get parsnips because they're tiny. Uh, the mochis, what was the mochis? 295. 150 what, each? 295. Oh, that's each. a lot. That's oh. a 150. 75 each. per each, And then the eggs. My God, trying to get eggs for love, not money. It was either 12 or 24 organics, which were like almost 450. Yeah. And then I tried to find that, and that was the last box. It cost 175 for six large eggs. Oh, that's not bad. That's free range. Got my can of drink, and then, oh, I had to get Dada's Easter egg. I got him. Where is it? Oh, it's in the other bag. All these bags you keep buying, Shane, we've got loads. <laughs> I've got him the assorted Lindor one, so we'll be dropping that down to him tomorrow. Oh, well. Wow. got him there. You don't need to him tomorrow. I thought I might drop it down tomorrow. Oh, yeah. oh Mum's got the lamb out good. Yeah. Because I texted her and said, remember to get the lamb out because yeah. I feel it's going to need a lot of defrosting. Yeah. So, I'm thinking, because I'm slightly hungry now, I might mm. have a little bit of sushi now, jump in the bath, and then I've got Are a little bit of... Bath, you can get in the bath. No, I'll, I'll go later then when I'm All right then. I'm going to... Oh, why is it gone dark? I'm going to have a little bit of sushi, jump in the bath, and then I've got some filming to do, and then we can put together our Easter boxes. And tonight, after we've um, done our sweet treat dinner, we will uh, do our boxes. We'll both be fresh and clean for our Easter PJs. It'll actually be a late one tonight filming because I've just remembered I'm speaking to Brogan at half seven. So that's always at least like a good hour's chit-chat. Well, I'm going to pop up and see my friend for a little while. So that's fine. It'll be a late yeah. night again. Are you going to have any gyozas or sushi now? Uh, I might do, yeah. Okay. We'll see you when we see you. <laughs> Wonk, who literally balanced on a cushion but they've delivered my parcel for smiths but it's into town i can't remember doing click and collect so it's annoying because i've been in town for the past two days so i'm not even gonna attempt i will just pick that up whenever i'm next in because it's highly annoying to um say the least also i've got to tell you i went for my travel vaccination consultation there was none that was mandatory. There was just like recommended. And he went through loads of them. And then he said there was one that I was due a booster on. He said it wasn't like a mandatory, but it would be a recommended if I was going around traveling all of that way. And that I think it was for diphtheria and something like that. I was a brave girl and had an injection. Yes, I did. Guys, I was a little bit... Oh because I told him before that I had a fear of needles so he tried to be very gentle bless him and then he laughed because he said I've only got children's plasters I was like I don't care look I got a dinosaur plaster <laughs> is it a dinosaur it, oh giraffes <laughs> so um yes I had my arm is quite numb he said it would be but I had it now and it's covering me for 10 years I've just got to send something to my doctors to show them I forgot to show mum. Look at my plaster. I was a brave girl. Oh, well done. I had an injection. Put it in on. Yeah. I had an injection. He said I could have had all the others. Like, they had... Oh, ice cream man. No, I'm not going to get an ice cream. I'm going to be good. <laughs> um, He said there was a few... Sorry, you're going to go on the wonk again, guys. Like, hepatitis and all that. But that was more if I was going to be like... He said, like, blood and sexual fluids and that. And I was like, I don't plan to get in contact with any of that with anyone else while on holiday, thank you. Probably not even myself. So, um, no, that was fine. Then he said rabies. I was like, no, I'm fine. So, yeah, I just had the one. I'm sure he said it was, like, diphtheria, something like that. I can't actually be bothered to put my arm back in because it's too cold. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I had that. was a big girl. He said, you might get dizziness or headaches. I haven't got any of that, but my arm is numb. However, I don't know if that's through 
perhaps the boxer size boxer size was fun um but got all my bits done at primark <clears throat> that was fabulous went to boots had this done managed to pick up the bits from waterstone so i can do mum's book later for her easter box i think the plan is i'm going to jump in the bath i've got the laptop doing a little bit of exporting i'm doing it like literally bit by bit i can't bulk load it off because i just i'm having like anxiety you know um i'm doing that bit by bit every day i'm gonna have a bath let it get a bit warmer first let it get a bit warmer for the heating on have a bath come out i need to film a scandals with shan that is jeffrey Dahmer this month i do apologize that i'm on the wall this is probably like really annoying for you guys there we go i just told you um film that and then maybe tidy my room a tad edit the scandals with sham and then tonight as i say mum's popping to her friends so i'm going to be on a facetime with brogue i'm probably going to be like an hour or so always love to have a chit chat and then we will do our eating the easter food not easter food eating the american candy i've finished off my sushi you would have seen that mum was not a fan of the crunch rolls because she said it was too spicy standard mama g um and yeah i went to boots picked up some hay fever tablets because i want to start getting them in my se season system for the season and then like a little um cream just for my face because it's not it seems to have gone down a lot i mean i have got look at that blooming spot not the greatest mother nature she does like to bring out spots in me but um yeah when i went to waterstones i picked a book and bookmark up for mum i picked a bookmark up for myself along with a uh, book a paperback book again i feel like my paperbacks are gonna be like romance and maybe like some true stories ones that i feel i'll read once and won't really go back to that's how i'm feeling with paperbacks because you do know i love a hardback and the hardback ones are the ones that i will read over and over and over again so yeah i've got that i also picked up a what's it called board of lunch the healthy air fry book i actually got dada one for christmas which was the slow cooker one because we're getting into the air fryer and then i picked up i don't know why i picked it up i got suckered at the checkout <coughs> a um, commemorative king charles coronation book i got suckered into it but it was double points at waterstone so hey ho yes that is my hair just going through here so i'm gonna have a little tidy up at my desk i think postman mr postman i can't be i knew i was due another parcel Nope. Oh, it was just uh, from the tax man. Great. Still no parcel. This is annoying. <sighs> because the other parcel should be coming to me. But who knows? So, uh, yeah, this is great. This is from HMRC. Fabulous. God, they like to be early, don't they? But, yeah, I'm going to jump in the bath. And then I'll probably see you after I've done my scandals with Sham. Be a little bit cosy and hopefully a little bit warmer. I just finished filming my scandals with Sharon and guys, I'm so sleepy. Because when I film it, I don't have my light on, I only have the mirror because I try and give like the ambiance effect. And I had my heated blanket on because I was freezing and now I'm really sleeping, guys. My arm, oh my goodness, my arm is killing me. Literally killing me. And now mum's put to her friends and she's like, oh, I don't know if I want the sweet dinner tonight. I'm like, oh mum. What do you want if you don't want the sweet dinner tonight that means we're gonna have to have sweets in the morning tomorrow and then because i'm definitely having my um roast dinner so yeah I, who knows what we're gonna have for dinner guys we might end up having bits from the freezer we might end up having sweets who knows but yeah my arm my arm is really really sore now really really sore like I'm not going to be able to sleep on her tonight, which isn't the best thing. I thought, get it in the right arm because I write with my left hand. So obviously if it goes numb, it's not going to hurt me to write. It's going to hurt me to write. What the hell am I going to be writing? I'm typing, if that. So yeah, I normally sleep on my right side, so that's not going to work tonight. But yeah, I've got my, um. let's put my phone in there. I've got my big cup of latte. And now it's time to upload, edit 
and then start a bit more of the transfer, right? We're having a sweet all day tomorrow. I'm just putting, I'm having my bag of Bernard Matthews chicken kiss. I'm looking at that now and thinking, oh, could I fit a hash brown in there? Yeah, fit some of them in there. Just squidge them around. The one with the beans in. Oh, yeah, you're not there, don't oh, you? I don't know if I could fit them. Maybe east of yours. Guys, my arm is killing me. Mum's like, well, it can't hurt. I'm like, it literally feels dead. Well, it will feel heavy, Shane. So. So tomorrow, the plan is get some steps in, go to Dada's and drop his Easter egg off, and then come back. We'll eat our sweets for breakfast, and then it's going to be a very oh, late dinner. We're going to have our crumpets. Little crumpets tomorrow. Yeah. Well. What? Just pick on my sweets and have an evening meal. And then it will be the piece de resistance. That we probably won't have a rest in until I'm thinking like seven, eight o'clock at night. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not like I've got work in the morning, so we can take full advantage. Will I have? No, I'll just fit two and I don't want to be greedy. And um, you're probably thinking this is oh, this is actually the first time you guys have seen the boogie bounce. Let me just move that because I've just spilt some crumbs. I'm gonna put that on. 200 for 20 minutes you haven't seen the boogie bounce so this is the newest addition to the kitchen which is my little trampoline which normally fits in the little corner let me put it down right here and this is my boogie bounce which i've thoroughly been enjoying so as i say tonight I am, let me just put you there, might be a bit noisy because you're actually on the air fryer. Tonight I've got my call with Brogan. We're going to have a little chit chat. And then, oh, you're going to jump in the bar. No, I've been. You've done your bar? Yeah, yeah. So later on, after my call with Brogan, we can put on our Mr. PJs and do our. Did you not hear me in there? No. I thought you were talking to your friend. Um, but you can do my book and put it on my heart. Okay. We do our Easter boxes. Oh yeah, what? We do them tonight. Mum's is kind of like a half open Easter box because I couldn't quite fit the lid on it. But I think I think I just went over. We had a twenty-five pound budget. I think I've gone over by a couple of quid. Did you see the budget? No, I've gone over. Yeah, we've <laughs> gone over a little bit. But yeah, I said to, I wonder if I'll get a bruise on that. You might. I get a bruise. What? And all Mum keeps talking about. Do you remember when I got this from Home Bargains? I was like, when can we have the Charlemagne? This ain't even going to fit in the fridge to cool, Mum. I know, we're, we're have to, it's quite cool now, Shannon. I wonder if we could, we're going to have to put it back twice. What, look, that way? Well, we can sort it out tomorrow because we're not going to be yeah, popping yeah. this open in the morning tomorrow, are we? Well, we could uh, <laughs> pop it open and have a thing before we go to date. And have a grumpy. Oh, I'm not taking down our grumpy. No, before we yeah, have our breakfast. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have uh, one of these over here. <laughs> so now whenever the boogie bird goes in, Mum wants to get to the corner. Well, I'll get them over here. So, uh, I like the chocolate ones. But I have, we want to try the um, apple ones as well, and the mini ones. Oh, well, can I open them then? We can open them tomorrow. Oh, they're naturally cute. Cute and hash browns. Yeah, yeah. You like them, Yeah. I'm looking forward to um, this one. But back because now we have an air fryer and an oven. We can do all that Harry Rounds and stuff. Oh, what the end of April? Yeah. Right. So but at least, oh, is that the question thing again? Yeah. So oh, at least we haven't got to get food this month because right. we have it all. Yeah. Oh, you do the mini ones. I'm talking different ones. No, I put these ones. I don't think I'll have Really? No. Is that very sweet? <laughs> 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 Yes, okay, leave them. There's no one there. There's enough for you. Jesus. That's 27 grams of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> that really hurts. I'm going to have a bite of one. Just yeah. one in, we? Tell me if you think it needs butter because we've only got a little bit of proper butter left. So I can go to the shop tonight. Mum, I want an open bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should have said to me to get butter when I've done the food. No, no, that's all right. If not, we'll nick some from Dad. No, Dad don't have butter, he's got that. What I get? What? The yellow one, we got from Tesco. Yeah. Well, I'm there, I know that you like butter, we'll have to look for a butter to show. Oh! We could have these as a sweet treat tonight, we've got our new boots. We can have them as we're doing our boxes. 
And we are in our matching PJs. These are from M and F, and we got them eleven pounds down from twenty two, half price. They've got kind of just like flowers and that on. I'm sure you'll oh, see no, tomorrow sorry. because we will not be leaving out of these. Um, it's quite a bit later. It is almost twenty five past nine. Me and Bro have been on the phone for over an hour and a half. <laughs> this is what happens. We have our catch up, and then we're like, oh my god, time is. Time is slipping by. So, we do have our Easter Eve boxes. But, Mum's doesn't exactly shut. Because it's a little overfilled. But, before we get into that, I remembered we had a parcel that I picked up from the lady the other week. And I'd done a rough little opening because I didn't know what it was. And then I just saw an Easter card. So, I quickly shut it up. And we've got a little Easter thing here. So, it says, Happy Easter. Wishing your family love and joy. And I never like to read the messages, just in case they are personal. Ooh! <clears throat> okay, one of my lovelies has her own Etsy shop called Fairy Sensations. I'm going to leave them down below, guys. You can read that, Mum. Wow. And we've got a bundle here. <gasps> Chocolate! <gasps> Good little kinder eggs. I love kinder chocolate. Mum hasn't got her glasses on, so this yeah, is probably oh, oh. not the greatest because she can't read it. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love the tissue paper. Look how cute that is. Oh, that's good. Didn't some of your viewers get some good paper? We'll have to find out. <laughs> we can't get any of them down here. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that is insane. Can you read it? Yeah, I'll get it down. I've not finished it. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cute. Eucalyptus and peppermint. Yeah. I will leave this down below, my lovelies. One of you absolute diamonds creates candles. And it even comes with a little bonnet Fairy on top. Fairy sensations. I'll, I'll find it and I'll leave it linked down below. That is amazing. That is going to be in the bathroom. Oh, How nice is that? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? And it's that's a nice go in pop, the bathroom, isn't it? And look, it comes with like a little cover, like a little cosy. Oh, that's How right. cute it's is like, that? It's like, like a it's little, little hat. It's like a little mate hat, isn't it? And it matches our pajamas, which is cute. We've got Kinder Bueno chocolate. All oh, right. I said all this tissue paper, Mum says, you, all you guys, you always send it in the most lovely tissue paper. Yeah, we can't, we can't really get it, find can we? anything down home. Oh. Well, you did manage to get a couple, didn't you? Just from home bargains. Yeah. 
Oh, and then that's for you. Oh, right. Thank you. So she also makes mugs as well. Oh, this is why I need an Easter tree to hang the gold. Oh, I got another one. Oh. And you got a yellow one. Yes, yes. Here goes <gasps> my window too. We need to get an Easter tree next year. We're getting over a run. Oh my god! Shut up. Oh, is it a little mouse? No, it's Stitch, and it says Mama G. Yeah. And mine is Baby Yoda and Stitch. Oh, they're kissing. Oh my god, that is amazing. Oh my god, that is insane. That is gonna. I need to have that. That is a Baby Yoda and Stitch. And they're kissing. <gasps> And then yours is Stitch right in Mama G. Yeah. Thank oh you so much. Oh, my God. It's her name Mandy. That is amazing. Right, I'm definitely leaving Link down yeah, below. And yeah. we keep the cards. As I say, we've yeah, got a yeah. little box. It's got everyone's cards and letters and everything in. Mama Rebs and all that, isn't it? We keep everything. That candle is gorgeous. That's definitely going to be at Mum, we, we need to get an Easter tree next year, Mum. All right. No, no, because some of your viewers say we're cluttered. I don't care. Yeah. I want an yeah. Easter tree. <laughs> Your mug's well cool. Oh, I've put it in. That's my one. I've put it in the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Don't, you're not having my one. <gasps> oh, my God. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you, all, Mandy. I'm all caught up there. Right. Hold on a minute. Let me put that. I'm all in a tiz there. Keep that is cold. amazing. Oh, that's lovely, though. I it? love lovely that. smell. She made that, Mandy. Yeah. Yeah. I love the little bonnet oh, for it. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's like yeah. a really nice. It's something that, um, eucalyptus, isn't it? Eucalyptus and peppermint. That is like a perfect bath one. When I have my Doctor Teals. Yeah, yeah. And it's got a nice little cute design on. Oh my god. <gasps> Easter. We don't need to gift give each other. Oh my god. I cannot wait to put them out. I'll also actually tomorrow because I haven't shown you the house update with all the little bits and bobs that we had sent through with gongs and everything. I'll do a little um, updated Easter house tour because well, that, that will one. probably stay up till at least end of April. Yeah. And then may we kind of take it back to normality for my birthday upcoming. But yeah. We have it. We have it sort of bare for a few months, don't we? From like September no, from... to January it's decorated yeah. for autumn, Halloween and Christmas. Feb January is like half Christmas, half not. February we might put like the odd little reef up for Valentine's and then it normally goes March and April will be Easter. Then but then October, May, really. June, July, August, four months we have off and then September it starts again. Yeah, we get a bit early for Halloween, don't it? And I don't know how it's going to be this year because obviously I fly abroad the 1st of September. So will autumn come in earlier or will autumn come in later? I'm not too sure. Oh, well, so you do things for autumn, aren't you? Yeah, we do autumn and yeah. Halloween. So normally we decorate like the first week of September for both, but I won't be here for two of these. So maybe we might start decorating end of August. No, some of your viewers won't like that. It doesn't matter because no. when I'm away, you can be fannying around with pumpkins. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Mum will be sitting with that. So anyway, on to us. I still I can't get over that. That mug is like, I am obsessed. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? I'm obsessed with that. You'll oh have to that for special things, babies. Yes, I will not be. that. Will, uh, see, I really want that to go to work, but I would be so annoyed no. if anyone smashed that. Oh, God, that. yeah. I would like, I'd, no, no. I'd, I'm going to keep mine for my pasta. Um, your mum's using it for... Actually, yeah. This could be our special little pasta pots. Yeah. <gasps> love it. Mugshots. Love it, love it, love it. Right. So we got our boxes from Home Bargains. And you can write on there who they're for, but me and mum didn't write on either of them. <laughs> so mum's is overfilled. Thank you. And my one I can get the lid on. So we're going to do just a random... We'll do it like a pick a mix. What? Well, you can see two of yours oh, that are out already. <laughs> I don't think you know sweets. Oh. I thought mum likes sweets. Nothing wrong oh, with having cool. some Good. sweets. Another pen. <laughs> God, viewers, I've got so many pens. I like yeah, to need to write the joke. You haven't had a chick pen, so I thought no. you could have no. that. Oh. oh, my God, we're so alike. <laughs> I've got a little scrunchy, a little poof poof, and an initial mug. I feel like um, great minds think alike for this. This actually really matches the pyjamas. Yeah, yeah. 
We've got it's plenty actually... of mugs, haven't we? Especially Dan Dardos. <laughs> He's going to uh, have a nightmare with him and mugs we have in this house. Mm. And as I say, great minds think alike because clearly we went to the same shops. Oh, you didn't tell me you was going there, Jen. <laughs> Mum got me a cheek puff and I got Mum oh, the rabbit puff. Oh, I'm not going to use this. <laughs> no, it's a scrubber. Oh, no. Oh, it's always a bit funny. I don't want to use him not. What's happened to his ear? Oh, he can. He might be squashed in a little bit. Yeah. I got mum a uh, little rabbit poofer. And also I got mum a G mug. So clearly we both have raided B&M. <laughs> yes. I like to pop out myself. Oh, we have some. Have quite a lot of lush bags in here. What have we got? Oh. Oh, this is golden egg. I mean, if you're watching this, you'll probably think with all of the lush hauls that we have, that is gorgeous. Like, covers you in glitter. I can't even... I'll have yeah, to I'll do it on the... Tissue. No, no, I'll have to oh, do it on the tissue oh. paper. Ooh. Yeah, you might think, did you really need any bath bombs? Hey-ho, it's Easter. Hey-ho, it's Easter. Oh, that's quite quirky, isn't it? You put your coffee yeah. in. Well, I don't know. I'll, uh... Oh, your water. The water bottle oh. I got her for Mother's Day. Do you think she's used it for her hydration Where yet? Where is it? Oh, well, I think that's still in the basket. She's not even took her Mother's Day presents. <laughs> I got a little sippy cup. Mm -hmm. You can do your iced teas and that like I do in that. So I'll put my Charlemander in that. The brightest memories will always stay in our hearts. Blackberry and bay scented candle. Do love a good candle. This is where I'm going to break me now. Oh. Blackberry and bay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Blackberry and bay. When I was staying in the shop sniffing out, I think somebody thought I was trying to get high. <laughs> nice little cute message on there. Oh, Canon. You're not focusing on the candle. Still focusing on mum. There you go. Oh, I like that because it's got a nice little message. Yeah. Hmm. Haven't got anything with Bane before. Right, you've got to open it. Oh, no. One, two, three. One, two. Is it my turn now? Yeah. Because <laughs> I've got... Oh, I've got a few left. A face mask. We'll have to have yeah, a mask. It's got gonks on it. You oh, know, yeah. it's got gonks. Yeah. We'll have to have a, a mask because we've got a load, haven't we? We'll, have well to have I'm a being a bit careful with my face yeah, at the minute, yeah. just All until right. I get my face under control. Yeah. You would have seen I picked this up for mum. I thought as soon as I saw it had gonks, it was like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, talking of gonks. I've got a gonk phone case. Oh my god. Canon. No, it's still focusing on mum. <laughs> oh, right, that will be definitely be going on for the month. Well, I'll have to swap it out now, actually. My phone's on charge currently, but I will be swapping that out. <gasps> love it. Mango hand cream. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I thought because mum's hands were always dry, you would have seen that in the Primark haul. I well, love the packaging dry. They're just the old hands, aren't they? But they're nice to keep your hands supple. Yeah, yeah. Because in the sunshine now, it's going to be... Oh, what's some this? Something has melted. To. Oh! The rabbit, cu rabbit couple bar. The carrot bubble bar. I saw them, <gasps> yeah. Guys, see, yeah. i done my Lush haul, I think, a tad early because none of the Lush... Well, you these give me the mix, didn't you? And I was like, Mum, if you see any of these, these are fine for the box. Or oh, another one for my collection. But I thought I'm not getting you big ones, but I'll just get you like a seasonal one. Yeah, and cheap ones because uh, <laughs> if I have to declutter shampoo, I default, isn't it? So I've got a little lamb. A lamb, yeah. It's either that or a cheek, but I thought you'd have cheeks. And these are little, like the octopus and that. that yeah, well, I can put them the in the top of my uh, the thing in the, on the winter can or the jug. Tea lights, essential, and they're mango and pineapple. Very nice coming into the summer months because I think I'm actually using the last of the. Yeah, well, you don't have them ones. on in the summer, do you? I still have candles on for the ambiance. Oh, oh. I find it very calming. Very calming oh. indeed. What's that with this tissue paper? Skinny crunch. 
I thought they was kind of like yellow themed. Oh, yeah. They yeah. have a new one. Yeah. Good old uh, home bargains coming through with the peanut butter skinny bunch. We, we won't chuck that anyway. We won't chuck that anyway. Mum, don't want to. <laughs> she has to keep all the tissue paper. <laughs> yeah, because it's hard to get, isn't it? We've still got some. We've and still got the other pack. Yeah. If you didn't use all of that pack on mine, did you? <laughs> no. Oh, we've got another one. Oh, that's like a lighter orange. We've gone for a dark I orange. I'm not really sure what you do with them. Do you just They're bubble them bars. In? So they, them I would just hold under and it creates the bubbles, oh, like right. the unicorn horn in that. Oh, right. Oh, this is 30 piggy pennies. Do you not recognise who it is? Yeah, Miss Piggy. No. It's the thing from Marks and Spencer's. Percy Pig. Percy Pig, oh. Is it chocolate? Yeah. Oh. I thought I'd get her a, um, a more grown-up chocolate coin. So I've got a big... It's fruit-flavoured... I don't actually know what it is. It just says fruit flavour confectionery. Oh. Magic. Well, whatever it is it, it's red underneath there because it's got beetroot colouring. Oh. <laughs> well, it might so be, it might like be a red strawberry. Coin. Or something, eh? Sugar, cocoa, butter, milk, whey and beetroot red flavouring colour. Oh, beetroot, yeah. We, we, we might have to open that tomorrow and see if yeah, that is. I think it's going to be a big chocolate <laughs> Ah, see, this was the thing. I was gutted because they didn't have this when i done my um, Lush haul. It's the coloured bear. Not the bear, the rabbit. Yeah. If you know, you get these in a cow as well. And you put them in and they're just a plain white. And then as soon as the water hits the rainbow, it just creates all these swells but and swells. I'm not and sure whether that's like Billy the Billy Bear, isn't it? Uh, no, so Butter Bear. Butter Bear, that's it. That's is Christmas, isn't just it? Just plain or pink, but that's like the cow or the ghost. Oh, right. Because it like runs out. Oh, 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 another prison officer. You people might think I'm a bit. You didn't even look at what was on the bookmark. Oh, right, that's all right. Me, okay. <laughs> so, this is what I had the palaver to go and pick up at Walterstones today because I wanted Mum oh. to have a new. Where is it? So, she got a new bookmark and I saw this book and I thought, oh, okay. Is this the one that was supposed to be delivered through the door? No, that's the ones from Smith's. Inside Parkhurst, stories of a prison officer. David Burridge. Because I've, thought... I've, I've, I've read the one about the man at Strangeways, haven't I? Yeah. So I thought, hmm. I mean, I know Mum's probably going to break the spine to oblivion, but if it's good, I'll pick it up. For... Oh, I left the price on it. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> because I picked up today from Waterstones um, a book called This Is Going To Hurt, and it's about uh, junior doctors. So I've had oh. my prison doctor, and this is junior doctor. Is this for general. you? What was the one that's supposed to be coming from GPO? Is oh, they were some other ones that I've ordered. Yeah, They're for at you. WH Smith, yeah. yeah. Are, they, are they psycho ones and all that then? No, no, one's actually a lovey-dovey one. Oh. Well, not lovey, it's lovey-dovey with a twist. Yeah. Oh, this would be what? Gangsters. So I got mum that one, I got that, and then I got the air fryer book. Did you even look in that air fryer? Yeah, yeah. There's some good little whiz in there. I want to try the onion barges in the air fryer. Well, they they showed the uh, chocolate egg with the pastry. You know the yeah, window. Yeah, the croissants. That weren't eighteen pound though, Shane, was it? No, it was nine. Oh. I got it half price. Oh, and then we have some scratch cards. See what Mia luck is with the old scratch cards. Thank you. Right. So, well, because you're almost at the end of Billy Connolly, aren't you? I've read it. Oh, you've read it. Yeah, it's finished now. I was thinking maybe you can I'm give that to Dada. Well, I don't know if you read it, but I might do a thing and just see if I can take it to any shop and just say I've had it as a gift. Can I exchange it? Mum, that's fraud. Shush! <laughs> I didn't buy it for you to no, take it back. No, but I'll, I'll take it back and get another one. <laughs> Something else, eh? Or would I like it? Well, I probably don't know much about Billy Connolly. It, it, it is a bit sad because he, he's a uh, Lord Connolly or something now. Oh. But he's got uh, Parkinson's. He shakes. Dada might like it. Oh, right, I'll ask him. You can take that instead of <coughs> uh, an egg. Because ba he's bound to say to you tomorrow, where's the egg from you? <laughs> I ain't going to buy him an egg. 
<laughs> I'll be seen as the good daughter because I've got the egg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they'll probably say to you, how much is that going to cost me? Well, you can say that your egg, just make a guilt trip, say your egg was more than mum's. And then you go, oh, oh, oh. No, yours was more by a quid. No, but he don't know because you said that's 15 pounds, <laughs> doesn't it? I suppose I did pay for the egg. Yeah. I was really looking. Someone sent me a thing. It's too late to order. There was a Bailey's uh, egg, Easter egg from Selfridges. Oh, God, Bailey's. Mm. Oh, is that right? I need to get my hands on that next year. Thank you. So I can put your lid on it. <laughs> well, I'm sure that will probably go next door to the Mother's Day box that you clearly haven't unpatched yet. It's in the corner. Oh, yeah, we put it on. You learn. We know. Oh no, and I've got my little uh, thing You've from the Pure Lady as well. Oh god, we've got so many mugs. <laughs> well, this would be a special one, yeah. We're going to try and get another little mug tree. Yeah, where do you get mug trees now? I'm sure I picked mine Is up in fashion? B and M. No, I'm sure I picked mine up in B and M. Got one. We've got the mug tree from the coffee stand, didn't we? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, if it comes to, it, I'll look on Amazon. Yeah, I'll look on Amazon. My laptop is. Oh. Still transferring, it's going to be bit by bit, guys. Oh, that's right. Thank you so oh, much. Yes, thank you. Rub your thing. What? I'm I haven't not... got any money. I've well, got I've coins. got a coin on my side in my bedroom. Hang on. <laughs> I was going to go get the coin <laughs> and then do it on there. Okay. You know, it's a bit cheap to wash bin today. Yes, thank you. <laughs> That's why we've got six bags of washing in there. I need to actually, um, one day this way, to sort out a little bit of my washing. Even if I get all like, my underwear put away. Oh, I thought you meant that. I was no, no, I'll have to oh, don't worry, get my uh, washing sorted. No, oh my goodness, I can't. Ah, I love that. Mandy, I will be. If I have you on Instagram or email... Please do let me know because we've obviously been in contact because you have the address. But I, for the life of me, I'm trying to think, was it Instagram or message? I feel like it was email. I'm going to have a look on my emails. If it is and I find you, I will send you a message. Thank you very much. Right. Mum's got the older coin. Let's have a look. See if we get the older money back, eh? Right. Let's put that on there. Well, I did the, the lucky dip for Dada. And I checked, I've got two numbers, so that's the one I've got in the fridge. What so do you get for two numbers nowadays? Just, just another free Lucky Dip. Oh. But I had to use them, and I've used the other one tonight. Because one was October last year, and one was November. You only get six months to cash them in. So, new pois. What have we got here? I said to the woman, give, give them to me. She said, oh, well, I can't do, take them off. And then I said, no, <laughs> just give them to me. She said, you've got to have them as it comes. I said, all right, then. Yeah, you can't choose, like, what... Um... No, because I wanted her to take the roll off, take the top <laughs> of them, give me one. Wherever you've got them from, they're dust. <laughs> the Tesco's. Oh, I'm going to take them both. <laughs> We get more luck with Sainsbury's, don't we? <laughs> no, I think I used to do quite well in um, Sainsbury's, wasn't it? Or was it Asda? I used to do quite well on. I think it was Sainsbury's, Lou. <laughs> Match the winning number. What's the winning number? 24. 20 of your numbers. So my number was 24, and the number they put on my thing was 25. I could have won 250k. Oh, that's a thing. <laughs> Wrap them all up in it. Give me that. Bit. No, yeah, give me that. Oh. <laughs> We've not won anything on that, guys. Oh, thank you. I, I used to be right. addicted to scratch cards. I'd love them, but... Yeah, but you've gone off on a I went off now, a bit on a losing streak. Yeah. So... Oh, you start to get a winning streak. Give me the paper. <laughs> Mum's holding all the paper. We will see you tomorrow because I'm going to hit the sack. We'll be up bright and early tomorrow. And I am looking forward to a lot, a lot of food. So, yes, see you tomorrow when it is the big day. It's the Sunday. Everything's shut.
How can you say that nothing's different, that we should pick up the pieces? Somebody ought to come along and let you down If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart And leave you crying on the floor You let me down, I won't do this all again Even if I try, I can't forget it If you still wanted to be loved You should have never Good morning, happy, happy Easter Sunday. Oh God, it's been a productive morning. It is now quarter past seven. I've been up since about six-ish and I'm still transferring. Um, I think maybe my baby hard drive should be okay. Um, I've just started to try and sort out some of the photos as to how I want them transferred over, but We'll see, we'll see. It's um it's not who's been definitely don't want to reject it. Um it's not doing too bad, it's just a slow process, ain't it? Um it's cold. See to the O to the L D cold. It's Easter, it's April, it should be freaking warm, but it's not. Um I think I'm gonna maybe go into mum at about eight-ish, see if she wants some crumpets. And then I think I might take a little walk to Dada's about nine-ish because knowing him it probably would have been a kip. And then we'll see. We'll see where the day takes us. All I know is we're going to be having a lot of sweet stuff and then a lot of food. I want to try and get the taste test in the American candy done by about like 12 one ish and then we'll probably have dinner for say like half seven eight it'll be a late one which I know you're probably not supposed to eat late but it's Easter um my shoulder isn't too bad today I mean my shoulder my arm is still just a little numb so yeah that's great but the pajamas were lovely to sleep in lovely to sleep in indeed so I think I'm just going to chill here I've done the um thumbnail for Jeffrey Dahmer's video I'm going to carry on. The longest one on this says about an hour or so. So I'm going to give it about half hour. Go in, see if mum wants crumpets, hot cross buns, whatever she wants. And then we shall get on with a day of work. I've been out to Dada's and back. I'm not getting changed, okay? I'm staying in my PJs and we are going to love life. I'm really looking forward to my bubble baths because Mother Nature has well and truly kicked in and the belly is just like. Mm -mm not having a bit of it let me tell you it's not having a bit of it at all so yeah we shall see how the day takes us but happy easter this girl. time we'll go wake mum up you read it happy easter, happy easter. <laughs> look at sleeping beauty there what? do you want a coffee um, no do you want crumpets or do you want hot cross buns? You want crumpets, sorry. Let's go do crumpets. Crumpets, crumpets. I think we'll use the rest of the um, bunny ones before we open the... Oh, listen to that. The birds, birds chitter-chattering. God, I look a state, don't I? So let's just move that over there. And we'll have the rest of the bunny ones before we open the dinosaur ones. Let's put that in there. Good old MS. MS. But the other ones are quite good as well. So I think we're going to have two each. Yeah. God, it is cold out. Ooh. Chilly, chilly. Let's pop these in. I don't know actually what she wants on it. What have we got? Is it only butter? Oh, I've got a little bit of roulade. A little bit of roulade. I can't be bothered to put bacon and eggs. Let's put these in and we'll see what she wants on it. She might actually want, oh, should I do cheese on it? No, because she's going to mind if I put it in the new grill. I don't even think we've got great cheese, have we? Oh my god, it's Easter. We ain't even got cheese in the ass. Oh my goodness, right. It's either going to be butter or 
Roulard. Who knows? <laughs> Let me go. Somebody said it should be easy to forgive. We all make mistakes and no one lives without sin. But why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet. Now you're standing at my door Thinking that I'm gonna let you in But if you wanted to be loved You should've never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart So you could feel this pain and know What it's like to be left out in the cold Standing by yourself, no one to hold If you still wanted to be loved you should have never let me go to wrap up to walk to Dada's. Are you walking to Dada's with me? If you want. Yeah. We'll go and surprise him. I didn't tell him what time I'll be down, but he knows me it would be early. I'll take the key because he might be asleep. I think if we leave here about nine-ish, we'll get oh, to his yeah. for about quarter past, twenty past. I'm like, happy Easter! He'll be like, uh. Depends if it's been a late night with sport and that. Oh, I'm hoping. Mm. Might be hungover for the Easter period. Mum's got two crumpets, I've got one because one of them had a little thing of mould on the back, so I was like, oh, not gonna chance that. So I slathered mine in roulard. Oh, look, we didn't have any cheese. No, I should have got a bag for knitting. I was gonna do um, grilled cheese on this and put it under the grill, but I thought you might moan at me for using the new grill. That's right. <laughs> I suppose plenty of tin for. Well, we could even just keep one of them liners under it. Oh, we, we could use the grill if it fits the old one just for the grill stuff with the liner. You definitely don't want to use the new grill equipment. <laughs> but I think the plan of action for today chuck on some slobs just to go to Dada's, come back, and then a PJ day. Because we're not going to put the meat in till late because that would take what a couple of hours to do. I don't want dinner till like, I want to say like half seven, eight-ish. Mm. We, if you know us from like Easter and even Christmas, we have late dinners. Especially because I got work tomorrow. So. What time did you go to bed last night? 10, 9, I didn't go to bed late late. I went to bed about <laughs> half nine, ten-ish. And then I was up at six. So I've got eight hours. What time, what time did you go the one before? Oh, you woke up at half four because you heard me and you went back off to six. I think I went to bed about ten-ish again because I knew I had gym the next morning. And what about Thursday? Normal? You're going up at, at, at six. No, Thursday. So, I would have been... Did you go to bed late? No, about half nine, ten-ish. What, you got up Friday? Because you weren't at gym Friday, was you? Oh, no, but you went to see Sarah, didn't you? I had to sort the um, hard drive out. I've got gym tomorrow, I've got circuits, but it's not until half nine. Oh. So I could have a little bit of a lay in and then maybe depending what time I finish that. So why can't you just sort of do ten till six and then leave here say half six to get to work for eight? Because I need oh, my overtime oh, to oh, catch up on my work. Oh your job, your work, isn't it? Yeah. I'm always busy, busy, busy. I don't choose to go in at them times, but I have to with the workload. No, that's what I meant. Do you have to go in? Oh. To keep on top of things. Are you busy now then when you start? Oh my god, careful. <coughs> then when you start. Yeah, because everything's getting bigger. Do you choke? No, because <laughs> you don't you're not actually doing what you was employed to do, are you? No. But um is there that anyone? Oh yeah. That's why. While I'm off, I want to make use of the morning classes. Oh, and then obviously I won't be there. Have you been feeling walking up there? Do you get a bus back? 
No. Oh. Well, I haven't walked back yet because I've always been going into town after. <coughs> <laughs> we need these antibiotics to kick in. Oh, yeah, because of the other two days. I've been going into town. Yeah. But I've not been too bad. Like, the first time I was puffed on the full cup. <laughs> But the second time, I just yeah. I take like a leisurely stride. It takes me about forty minutes, and that's to do <laughs> two. I think it's like two point four mile. It's the first time that's when that main stopped, wasn't it? I think not a lot of people are out like Saturday of Easter because they're probably nursing hangovers from Good Friday. No, you're probably following. There might be a few people running today. Oh, yeah. Because it's quite bright, isn't it? I don't know what the weather's going to be. See, it's nice when. You have that breeze because you naturally warm up when you run. Mm. It's not really good to run in like if you remember last year when we had the heat wave, I was running in like 30 degree heat. Yeah, but then you fall down, didn't you? And then you overheat. So when it's like, I'd say like first thing in the morning or like when it starts to get dark is probably the best times to run, I think, because you get the breeziness that you'll naturally warm up when you're running. But did you say sometimes when you're going to work at six o'clock you see people running? That old lady. So do they run then before they go to work? You Maybe. took your thing out the top of your ear, didn't you? Yeah. Oh. Or if people work from home. See, if I work oh, from yeah. home, it'd be so much easier because I could get up and go for a run and I wouldn't have to start work till eight. Yeah. I would just have to go in earlier if I went to the office. But they're, they're starting to moan now because people are saying... Why should you work from home and benefit saving on the travel and still have a good salary? Yeah, but what you save on the travel surely will go against your bills. Because if you're home, you'll have electricity and gas yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Especially when it's cold, isn't it? I would love to work from home, but... Um, do you reckon sort of 50% of people are still working from home? Because they said in the paper that a lot of people are still working from home. Let me know down below if you work from home. And if you work from home, like, what is your job sector? Because our, our, our cousin works from home, don't she? Hmm. And also, I don't you, too, but I can't. And also, you can just be in your PJs and diddly do, diddly do, unless you've got a meeting and just put a shirt on, isn't it? Oh, no, see, I think if I worked from home, I'd have to get dressed. Oh. I think if I worked from home, I'd get dressed and I'd set my laptop up at the desk. Like, I couldn't work from home in my bed because I just wouldn't be productive. Oh. Or I'd like to, like, go to a little local cafe oh. and work because you're actually up and about. Because otherwise I think I wouldn't be productive at all. Well, that was very nice. Nice crumpet. And then we've got dinosaur crumpets for the rest of the week. <laughs> dinosaur I'll crumpets for a week. We'll get some spreads or whatever. Yeah. Well, to say nothing's open today, so no. we might do a little Tesco shop tomorrow. Or if we're in town, we've got Asda. We'll have a little look around. So, yes, we shall see you probably when we walk in to Dada's with his egg to wake him up. But if you wanted to be loved, you should have never let me go. Hope somebody will break your heart so you could feel my pain and know. What it's like to be left out in the cold Standing by yourself, no one to hold If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go You should have never let me go I should be in my pyjama bottoms, but I've chucked joggers on just because Mother Nature, I like to be in darkness. We have just filmed the American Candy. It was a success, wasn't it? Yeah. Mum just had a little bit of a meltdown when we tried the cinnamon ones, first of all. There's a little bit spicy. Put it, sorry. We'll put that in the yeah. fridge. The leg of lamb, oh goodness gracious, is defrosting away lovely. And Mum just said with the thing, oh, I don't want the sweets to go off. So I said, we'll put them in some Tupperware. Because we've got plenty of Tupperware in this house. So we might as well put them in a few. What we need, just the little bits. What would you say your favourite bit was? Oh, the chips. She likes little chips. 
And we've got some of these shows, so the smaller ones we can put in here, can't we? Oh, okay, yeah. Just a and everything. Right, I've just edited the food taste test in American video and I thought, you know what? We will start to, I say start, start to put some washing away. And this whole bag is just of my underwear and socks and hosiery. So we're going to go through it all because some bits, they might be stuff that I don't want or they might be a little bit like dishevelled. So we can go through and have a little tidy up. Oh God, I've just dropped all my socks. Fabulous. And see, because I don't know about you, but like some of my bed socks they've had better days so we're going to get all the underwear out there is um <laughs> a lot i do like my underwear guys you know this oh i've got loads of um gym socks here so they can go out the back i've got my footsies and then what's this oh these are my rib sets so the rib sets go over there these go in the gym box but yeah, does anyone else just hate putting washing away? I let it build up and up and up. And then by the time it comes to it, I'm like, oh, like to the point. I mean, I'm very lucky that I have a lot of underwear. But that's just some of my nicks to go away. So, of course, we will be going through all of them because some may be old. Some may like and not be my style anymore. And then we've got, what's the rest of this? Pyjamas. Oh yeah, we've got our nice new summer pyjamas. So I'll actually go through and sort all my pyjamas out too. Because again, some of them may have seen better days, you know. But I like to have, I don't know why, I like to have a set of summer and winter PJs. For when it's like mother nature, you know, so it's like comfy. So let's start putting this away. say to you I have a lot of underwear yeah we uh, we do have a lot of underwear um I'm just trying to go through it now and we've already gone through the drawers but there is a whole load more I've got my four little boxes down here and oh my god where's my oh, I lost my coin out of here where's my baby Yoda coin Oh, don't tell me that's, has that gone down the side? You know when you pull stuff out and I'm like, oh my goodness. That's how I've lost my baby Yoda coin. No. I don't know where my baby Yoda coin is. It should be in here. Right, we're going to have to take everything out of the boxes because now I think my baby Yoda coin has come out of the boxes. Um, my Big Boo Avenue box has broke, so that's great. <laughs> so I need to try and find somewhere to put the bodies I feel like I might just keep my Boo Avenue bag for the moment but I need to go through because I have these little boxes and I have one for lounge one for Calvin Klein and then one for the Primark rib sets which we all know I have a lot of and then Primark like not just Primark but like say a bit of Asda like just the lacy sets they're really nice 
so yeah i've done a um good term with the pajamas and everything but see i need to have these out more to reach to it's because my chest of drawers is not big enough for my underwear because i'm a little bit of i'm going to call myself it a lingerie haul yes i do underwear is my weakness and i mean it probably is addictive i do not need this much underwear in the slightest but i don't know and is it bad that when i went into town the other day i popped into around summers and i was like oh they've got a few nice bits there i'm like no shan no shan no 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 i feel like these are not even actually i feel these are for a different bra that's great that is briefs to match that because there is a body of that <sighs> guys i do it to myself don't i i mean i should not go on and summers boo avenue lounge any of that i shouldn't even really go on like asda or Matalan because i just see what's this one? Oh, this is an asda one okay we'll keep the asda ones separate but I feel that them briefs are not Asda. Are they? Is this an Asda bra? I know I've got a body of this. Yeah, so right, this is an Asda bra. But I don't feel... These bottoms, I feel, are for a silky balconette one. The fact that I can remember this is worrying. But um, yes, trying to be productive. <laughs> Videos are exporting, transfers are being done, and we're trying to get some organisation in this lingerie mess. This is why I would really, really like to have a lingerie wardrobe. You probably think that's very extra. I've just gone through my pyjamas, and I found all my VS 90s that I had, like the little silk ones. And oh, another one they need an iron, which I just I can't be bothered with, to be perfectly honest. And Number two, I actually really miss wearing them for the summer, but I just think if they was hanging up, I would like appreciate them more. See, so like this, I found more. Oh, right, no, so this is the bralette with them. These are the bralettes, that's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got an odd pair of knickers. I don't know where they've gone. Right, Baby Yoda hasn't gone in here. So we'll try and find where on earth Baby Yoda's gone, but yeah, try and sort out the underwear next. <laughs> guys it's a lot later i was anticipating to do my um yorkshire puddings but about two o'clock and i did go to plan it is now 10 to 4. me and mum we filmed the american candy you would have seen me sorting out my underwear oh my goodness i am an underwear whore um it doesn't probably look like i've done much in my room but i have decluttered behind the scenes everything's a bit more tidier i've changed a few things around i've tried to make the most of certain things for space saving and yeah bought a few new things out like some boots that i'd bought realized i have no room and yeah we're just going to go with it because i've actually bought a few things I know roughly how much tax I'm going to have to pay this year. So I thought, you know what? I've got a few little things to treat myself. So I'll probably show you them in... Will that be May Day vlog? No, because it won't have been finalised from the account. And I'll probably show you actually what I got in my birthday haul. Because by the time they arrive and then I sort out... Because I don't... I'm very funny. I don't like to use something until... I know definitely it's paid for in a way. So once all my accountant has done his bits and bobs and they're like, right, yep, that's the thing. Bish bash wash done. I will show you them in my, what I got for my birthday. Because it is, it's kind of an early birthday present. They're just bits that I managed to pick up on quite a good uh, little offer actually. And I thought that can come out of my little earnings. Because I do like to treat myself 
for the year of YouTube. You know that last year I got some, um, what did I get last year? I got my Tommy Hilfiger loafers, my Doc Martin Chelsea boots and tan boots. And then I also got my Vivian Westwood bag. This year I feel I've got a few things from Doc Martins and a little bag off of michael kors actually that was um, a little treat that i got in the sale so yeah that will you'll see that in my what i got for my birthday and i'm actually excited now that it's getting warmer because i can wear my vivian westwood trainers i've bought them in the room today because they was in the back room but i still left them in the box and i'm like you know what when it is a nice cool but dry day they will be coming out whether i wear them with jeans or i'm thinking like a nice summer dress oh my god blanky is breaking before my eyes this is heartbreaking times guys blanky is slowly deteriorating my poor blanky but um yes i thought actually i would do a little quick unboxing because i actually got sent well i picked it up a few weeks ago i'm not gonna lie and then i just haven't haven't got around to open it and i thought i would do it on this now i know this is from one of my lovelies katie and she said it was a book fairy book fairy and i didn't know what book fairy meant and i had to ask her so what's it mean she said it's like a thing on book talk on tiktok that when you send someone a book you call it book fairy and i was like fabulous it says i haven't read this yet but i've heard it's a great one written by lisa lisa Jewell. enjoy your gift from katie page and i will leave her youtube channel down below as well oh bless her it's all gift wrapped and we all know i love lisa Jewell. lisa Jewell, lisa jewel oh very good one thank you very much the family remains the secrets can't stay buried forever it's actually one that's been on my wish list for ages so thank you very very much oh nice big font nice chapter in i mean that shows how sad i am i like a nice chapter <laughs> i can't be dealing with these long chapters thank you very much i don't know when i will be reading this would it potentially i could read it in the summer or do i feel like i need to keep it for the colder seasons I don't know we shall see but when i do finish it or when i'm reading it i will let you know how i get on and as i say whether it will be up your street as well so yes thank you very much katie for that very much appreciated and as i say anyone who does sing gifts more than appreciated thank you very much so grateful i need to now do my batter mix the laptop is currently uploading the taste test in american candy video it is also currently exporting some videos it's exporting all of my photos over so you know how i was with the fact that i thought i'd lost all my photos so i've had them backed up on we'll call him the medium boy i'm now transferring it to the big boy once it's on the big boy i want to put it on the baby boy because the baby boy is the one that i think that i'll be carrying around with me if you know me as well you know i'm very ocd with my hard drives everything like that so i'm trying to clear as much off of the baby one as i can and just purely keep it for videos when i need to put onto the big one and then also my photos and memories i think also what i will do on the baby one is put say some of like the memory day vlogs and bits and bobs oh my god you know when you see a little fly and i'm like you are annoying me now so yeah that's still got what it's saying two hours just to do that so i'm not going to transfer any more videos over just for the moment because i want it to kind of finish up its thing and then because it's getting confusing guys transferring between three hard drives i'm like if you don't like tech you're probably thinking shut up sham but yeah it gets very confusing i think i'm going to make my batter mix now because that will be four o'clock i'll ask mum if she wants dinner now will she want dinner for six or eight i feel like she's going to want it for eight i've got a call with one of my lovelies at seven so we'll have a little chin wake for that so i think i might do dinner for half seven eight so i'm thinking then if i get everything prepped all the veg chop the teas get the lamb prepped ready to go then the meat can go in for probably i'd say five half five on like actually i'll do it five and i'll cook it really low I'll keep the foil on it because we know what mum's going to be like and then on the last 40 minutes we'll whack the foil off if it spits away it spits away put the teddies in and then yeah i've got carrots and i don't know if to do glazed carrots actually i don't think i can do glazed carrots i haven't got honey mustard hmm also with the new oven i don't know how we can get on with the trays 
with the meat and then the Yorkshires because obviously I need a height for my Yorkshires because I like mini mountains. And am I going to do stuffing? Oh, I forgot about my stuffing balls. But we can't go all out, ain't we? I mean, we stuffed our face with loads of sweets today, so we might as well stuff our face with loads of good food. And then tomorrow I will be actually dying in circuits. Let's go do some milk sugar. You watch the puppy's gonna die now. Oh, Footloose is awake. I wanna hold you over here. Oh. oh, I can feel it. Ah, oh, I think I need to teach her. Oh, I've got no upper body strength. Charlamanda. Oh, cheers, how you, sir? Oh, very nice. Oh, I like that. It's sweet. No, but they're the little ones that I used to get shown for a pound. But that's no, just take that bottle That's a two litre. <laughs> Oh, 
way in we have got Michael McIntyre the wheel this one yep thank you so I had a lovely chat with Jenny and I was like oh I need to comb my Yorkshire's just in time mmm I also have. What did they not roll a bit, Jen? Because I had to. I moved them about oh, the right, other okay. two. Cheers. The bottle of Charlemagne is here because once we're settled, then. Oh. Once we're settled, we. Uh, Merry I'm Christmas. Going to, I, I mean, Merry happy Christmas. Easter. <laughs> happy Easter. You know what? That's actually not bad. No. Well, that's what the little box I used to get because you used to say to me. Is that from Wine Bargains? Uh, B and M. I think I need to uh, yeah. take a trip to B and M. The meat. Mm. The only thing, okay. my potatoes didn't get as roasted, but I think that's because of the meat juices. Yeah, yeah, because there were quite a lot of liquid in there, weren't there? Mm. Michael McIntyre, no will. <laughs>to the point my belly actually started like pulsing because it's oh, had so much food wasn't it? i was like look at my belly it's just like moving it's because i'd had too much food so yes i am going to hit the sack now we've just we're halfway for another episode of hey, what's the wheel, the door, it is 25 <coughs> past nine oh, right. yeah i'm gonna go back because i've got gym tomorrow oh yeah, yeah. What's, what's tomorrow monday yeah. You ain't got to go too late though, have you? It's half nine. What, you leave here eight? Half eight? Probably about no. eight-ish. Oh. I'll still be up, like, early though, because I've still <coughs> got some bits and bobs. I'm not going to have the laptop on tonight transferring, because I think it's been on a few nights, so I'm going to leave it off tonight, and then I'll let it transfer through the day tomorrow. Because if you can get bed by ten, you can get up at six, eleven. Probably. I'll be KO'd in like six minutes. Alright then. <laughs> so yeah, we, uh, eight hours we are all stuff from our Easter. I hope you had a lovely Easter. Yeah. And we shall see you tomorrow, Easter Monday. See oh, you in a bit. Oh, good morning, guys. Good morning. Ugh. My body woke me up at half past three. I managed to snooze until about quarter past four and then I've been up. I've been up. It is now, what's the time? Quarter past six. And I've cancelled gym because my belly, mm, I should never ever go to the gym when it's mother nature. So the fact that I went Saturday, I'm happy. But yeah, she's um, not playing today. I was thinking of having at least a walk to the gym and then that way i can pick the bus up from there to get into town but it looks like it's going to pour down i'm very undecided i've not got to make a decision till about eight -ish. well i've got to make a decision by about half seven because i want to leave about eight because if i do I want to have a little bit of a walk and then if i get okay i might even walk into the next village and maybe the next village and then Hopefully I can walk into town. I doubt it. It'll take me like an hour and a half to walk into town. But we'll see. The weather's just not playing ball today. So yes, happy Monday. Happy Monday, guys. How's four days just gone like that and we're back at work tomorrow? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm just here editing the Easter vlog, actually. There's over three and a half hours footage. So we need to get that trimmed down, don't we? And I'm not too sure whereabouts this vlog will finish. Maybe once I'm back before because i want to try and do some baking today maybe end it before then i'm not too sure because dinner will literally just be left over meat and stuffing balls and bits and bobs 
But yeah, and I've got a little sore coming under my nose. I told you every time I blow my nose, I get a little sore, don't I? Yep, sore's coming. Happy Monday. Well, that's throwing a spanner in the works. I've just looked out and it's boring, Dan. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I would still walk with an umbrella. But I don't know if I get chilly. And we're going to wrap up and just walk to the next turn. I want to get some steps in after that bloody roasting ride last night. I need to get some steps in, don't I? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's um, actually brush my hair and not look like this. And then we'll see what I'm thinking. Mum's curled up in her bed. She's like, I'm not moving. She went coughing all night, so she's back on antibiotics. So, yeah, she's a little bit under the weather at the moment so yeah oh i was in the mood then i wanted a walk i thought i can't do gym so i'll get a walk in and that doesn't seem to be the plan right let's get dressed and let's see what we can do with this weather eh i'm ready i've just chucked on my gym leggings from saturday hoodie jacket i'm gonna try and at least walk to my gym and then if i need to get the bus off that but i need to take one umbrella because it is raining Mama G is awake. There she is. Just gonna wash so, up. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little walk, so at least to the gym, and then if I can get further, I get further. If not, if not, I need to pick up some bits from Smith's. I need to get some bits for baking. So yeah, we'll see what happens. So that was a white wash. I got there and it was closed. It didn't say anything online on the centre or the Smith, so not happy. But we have got our little. Moose is here from M&S, which actually I want to take a little picture of Was Primark open? Primark was open. Oh. Let me put that there. I want to take a picture. But, yeah, I got there and um, it wasn't open. So I was like, oh, fabulous. And I walked into two turns. It took me an hour. And I've done nine and a half thousand steps. Oh. So I've earned this. How many are you allowed? You've got to do 10,000 a day, roughly. Oh. So I thought, hmm, now it's getting a uh, Walmart, I shall be able to try and do that of an evening, I think. And what's this, a moose? Did you go into Mark, see if they had the cheesecakes? Still oh. nothing. Oh. It's a biscuit base with a moose cake, cream, and panel, um, passion fruit coolie. Yeah, it's not much. I really want to try the new Starbucks drink as well. It's a blue one. I think it's a sour raspberry. I should have said to you, get me a box of Pringles. I said to you, did you need anything? Yeah, I know. I forgot when you put the phone in. Just ran into Asda and got some food. Mm. Shame, where have they come from? They're my Tommy Hilfiger boots. That look like a box. I thought the Tommy Hilfiger was them with That's the crystals. Oh, right. Oh. I've looked at my I thought she sneaked another pair of boots in there, viewers. <laughs> no, I just took them out of the box when I was doing my room yesterday. Oh, were they the two in the cell? Hmm. Mm. If you see these in MS, I would uh, highly recommend. What's the stick of shortbread? I think it's chocolate wafer. Like white chocolate. Oh, right. Oh, so Pony was open. Mm. I always get confused on like Easter bank holidays because. Not all places take the Monday to bank holiday, I don't. What if they're open Friday, they shut Monday? Because you must shut uh, Sunday, innit? Hmm. Oh, no. Hmm. That was worth my nine and a half thousand steps. Nice and sweet, innit? Did you say the milk cheesecake was in shape of cheeks? It was in shape of sheep. Sheep. I bet if I go down to a local one and ask you, say, oh, we had them, but they're finished now. Easter's gone. 
they had um, macarons in there. I think they were £6 for 12 Well, that's not bad because Littles have put theirs up a pound now, £5 pound now. But yes, I think I'm going to round out the vlog here because I'm not doing much exciting today. I need to recoup for work. I need to edit this vlog to get it ready for you guys tomorrow. And then dinner is just going to be leftover lamb with veg. Yeah. yeah, we could have mash today with it. So I do hope you all had a lovely Easter. Whatever you was doing, let us know down below. And as yeah. I say, another Easter gone for another year. I've just remembered we didn't do the Easter crackers we had. So we will uh, be keeping them for next year. Oh, so we can not. Well, Easter's gone really, isn't it? Oh, we'll yeah, keep yeah. them for next year in the Easter box. But yes. I, I noticed you were sneaking into the Charlie last that night, That was actually Shannon. very nice. I had one glass. I noticed you had one glass and another and another. That's I thought, actually very nice. I thought you won't get up for the gym. I was. I was up. My body had me up at uh, quarter past three. So oh, you went schedule. back off. I went off to about four-ish and then... You've not been up since four, have you? Yeah, I've been editing and doing bits and bobs. That's too, far too early, Shannon, when you're off. Yeah, but my body's Mind in you, that cycle. You've managed to stay in till six o'clock a couple of days, haven't you? Mm -hmm. From ten. Had a bit of a lay in, but yes. As I say, let us know what you got up to Easter. Or what was your favourite bit of Easter? The eggs, the food, the decorations. But yes, guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And as I say, leave us a comment. Anything to do with Easter. But take care. Stay safe as always. And we'll see you Thursday. I think we're doing... Oh, we're doing a baking video because I'm going to bake this afternoon. Oh. Bye, guys.